Good evening, and welcome back to Call of Cthulhu, Music of the Spheres. I am your keeper, Cameron, and joining me tonight, I have... Uh, I'm Kathleen, and I will be playing Jessica. I'm a CrossFit instructor. I am Matt. I will be playing Norman. I am a New Age pharmacist. I'm Serge, I'm playing at Frankie, and I was talking to my manager about my, inter my social media interactions over the past couple weeks, and really the viewers want to keep me in those spoopy situations, so I'm going to give you that hashtag content that you deserve. And I'm Beach, and I'll be playing Peter, and I'm an on-call IT shitbag. Brilliant. Uh, if you're just joining us now, last time on Music of the Spheres, our investigators, our players, were uh, called upon to beta test a new AR mobile game. Uh, the game's designer was looking for beta testers. She has developed a Call of Cthulhu themed uh, augmented reality game in the mode of like Pokemon Go or in, uh, what was the other one? That was the, oh. uh, in Ingress? Ingress. Yeah, nice. Uh, in which players would use their camera's phones and microphones to gather clues at a at a, at a spoopy eldritch site, and they would interpret those clues and then use them to solve a mystery. And they successfully went through the beta uh, scenario and were able to solve the mystery. Um, but was all what it seemed? Question mark? Who is really playing the music of the spheres? So time passed and stuff is happening. Um, in the first couple of days after, after the beta test, Anna emailed you a, um, a questionnaire. And some of those questions were things like, do you feel that there's a difference between fear and horror? If so, can you describe it? Do you remember a time that you experienced completely irrational fear? Are you familiar with the works of H.P. Lovecraft? Algernon Blackwood, Robert W. Chambers, Arthur Mackin. You have also found that you are experiencing unusual dreams. Peter, one night you dream that you are laying on your back on the beach and you can feel uh, the tide coming in and the night is cold, and the sky is, in dream logic, empty. And you feel the beach pressing on your back as if you are vertical when lying on it. And beneath you, i.e. out to sea, it is as if tendrils of ocean water begin to reach into the sky, into the, the empty sky. And the stars smear out with, you know, as they trace out their arc. And you wake up feeling almost like a pressure on you and a sense of vertigo. But in the dream, this all felt completely natural to you, like it is the way it is supposed to be. Further questions. Do you agree or disagree with the following statements? Humanity must plan to live on Earth for geologic or stellar timescales. Humanity is the first intelligent life to inhabit the Earth. Jessica, mm. you have a dream where you are standing in a ring of harsh white light on co cold, polished concrete. Outside the ring, there's there's nothing. It vanishes kind of into shadow. But at its center, what you assumed was the, the core of the ring is in fact not a shadow. It's not, you're not standing in a ring, you're standing in a circle. And what's at the center is a lens of black glass. Um, a black mirror, almost. Mm -hmm. And in your dream, because this is the way dreams work, when you touch it, you find that it's not glass. It's in fact a liquid. Further questions. 
Are you familiar with the findings of NASA's Wayfarer probe and the Hokulea interstellar object? Are you familiar with the theory of panspermia? Norman. Yes. You have a dream where you are holding your phone and looking through the camera at a completely alien landscape. Yep. And in your hand, the phone is, um, uh, it feels like it's beating with its own heartbeat. Or it's, it's actually give me an idea roll. <clears throat> it begins. Yeah. Mm, I failed that one. <laughs> That's fine. Due to a circumstance we were able to discuss before the game, this is a lucid dream for you. Mm. So you're in control here. Mm. Okay. Uh, I'm definitely poking and prodding at the phone. Okay. Uh, thinking like, wait, what sleep app am I in right now? Mm. I'm reviewing one. I can't remember which one I'm reviewing right now. You are not in the sleep app. You are, in fact, looking just through the camera's viewfinder. And that is all that's being displayed. And what it's showing you is it feels like, um, like the display is, is ghosting. When you move the camera, everything that was displayed on it just smears out. And then after a few moments, we'll refocus on whatever it is you're looking at. Mm -hmm. But it feels like a time lapse. Um, yeah, I'm so. just like really squinting in there and like trying to find a pattern to the time lapse or something. Okay. Um, if you hold it up to like a tree, you will see the life of the tree superimposed on, on in one image, basically. The tree is a sapling and as an adult and it's bare branches in winter and it in bloom in spring and then in, in uh, uh, explosive color in autumn and then withered and gone mm. and this is all happening like as I said superimposed into one image like like a fourth dimension is superimposed onto a lower dimension mm -hmm. as it were looking around ooh ooh <coughs> wow uh, when you do that, your hand smears out, and you can see your hand as a child's hand, and as your hand, and as your hand when you are old, and your absence before and after those things. And even though you can't see them, you are conscious of them being there, and the presence of your hand in that image is very, very narrow indeed. It's very, very small. It's like a razor edge in what, what the lens sees. In that moment, I feel incredibly fragile. Um, further images. You see the stars smeared out into arcs, and you see those arcs smearing laterally as presumably the Earth and the Sun and the solar system move through the galaxy. And that uh, the smear of stars turns blinding white and then fades to a baleful, sullen red and goes dark. And again, these are all happening simultaneously. Uh, and you see all of human landscapes crushed into a, a geologically thin layer of a brightly colored toxic metal stone um, in, in like the, the strata of the earth. Mm -hmm. um, give me an idea roll. Yeah. Uh, that one I did get by at least 20. Ooh. It strikes <sighs> you that even in this state, even with all of, all of human endeavor now 
looking back on it as this geologically thin layer, that there is a continuity there, mm -hmm. and that all of the things, including the device in your hand, persist in some way into that time. And when you make that realization, the heartbeat that your phone, like the, the thud, uh, the force feedback in your phone, accelerates. And you realize it's not mimicking your pulse. This is something the device itself is reacting to. Just kind of tap it lightly, like, okay, calm down, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> Um, give me another idea roll. Okay. Uh, I got that one by at least, oh, I got that one by 15. There is the reverse camera button at the bottom right corner that is used for, say, taking selfies. I mean, like... Matt, personally, would not press that button. Norman <laughs> is going for that button. Thank you. He already checked his hand, so... Thank you for playing the wall. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you see uh, yourself in the same way you saw your hand. Very narrow, but with all time compressed into one image, as if it was extending backwards from you in a massive... Uh, um, in a massive organic bulk. Like, uh, if you remember... <laughs> The best visual image, or best visual representation of this that I can actually come up with in recent memory is actually from Star Wars Episode Eight, huh. when Rey goes into the dark side hole and sees all of herself reflected backwards, but as if there were like a thousand times more of those images cut in so that there's almost no break. Okay. And uh, I know I'm asking for a lot of these, but could you give me an idea roll? Sure. I'm just full of ideas tonight. Uh, Got it by three. Like a worm. The 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 mm. the word that occurs to you is worm. Worm. A oh, worm. And uh you recall that that was the term used for the grimoire in the app. I definitely would. Yeah. Oh. Because I've been reading the app in the meantime. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for being a good boy. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> um, okay. Um, and in it, in that picture, in that image that you see where yourself is, is where you are projected backwards and forwards in time in this long organic being. Okay. Yeah. You are not alone. There's someone with you in this picture. Do I recognize them? It is the man Anna called George. And he is not a worm in this. Like the man in the mural? Mm. Yeah. He is here with you in time. And uh, he is not aging in the way that you are. He is as he is, as a person, until the stars go dark. As a singular person. Mm hmm not a worm. Hmm. Definitely writing that down <laughs> and telling the uh, the app developer <laughs> about I worms. A yeah. I found a bug in your app. Yeah. Uh, I'm the bug. Yeah. <laughs> Results in feelings of insignificance. <laughs> um ba 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 Give me a sand roll. <laughs> and it begins. <laughs> okay. Uh, I failed that one. Lose. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two sand points. Okay. I'm at 42 right now. This is a disturbing dream. And you wake up. When you wake up, you do not feel rested. And I immediately want to take a shower. Okay. <laughs> All right. Further questions? 
God, I hope I didn't ask this one. I wasn't checking them off. Are you familiar with the theory of panspermia? You did ask that. Yeah. Um, yes, okay, then that is all the questions. Mm. Um, Frankie. Oh, I thought it was free. Damn it. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. You have a dream where you're swimming through cold, murky water, just effortlessly, Ooh. gliding through it like you were born to it. Yep. Um, you, you swim through the dense kelp forests, and the, the sliminess doesn't bother you at all. It just feels perfectly natural to you, mm -hmm. like this is where you were born to live. Okay. You do not have trouble breathing. You are not cold. You the, the the reduced vision doesn't bother you at all. Hmm. It's just like I've had the flying dream a lot. I've never had the fish dream. Mm -hmm. Or your Aquaman. Ooh, Aquaman. I look down at my limbs. They seem perfectly normal. Aquaman. Okay, got it. They seem absolutely perfectly normal to you. Okay. Uh, Jessica, mm -hmm. you have a dream where you were holding your phone, only in this dream, your phone is not a phone, it is a prism of black glass. But you know it's your phone, right? You know, you, you, you have a dream where you're in high school, but all the parts are being played by people that you work with. Mm -hmm. Same kind of thing. Uh, your brain knows that this is a phone. And all it does is it splits light into a rainbow. But the rainbow is very narrow. And it shows bands both beyond the red and beyond the violet. Hmm. Give me an idea roll. Uh, fail. OK. This seems perfectly normal to you. So these are kind of how your nights are going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, how your days are spent is largely up to you. And whether you find these dreams useful or restful to you or not is largely up to you, except for that one quite upsetting dream that you had. Well, Norman is actively reading books on the questionnaire mm -hmm. to try and get some answers about worms. OK. Um, there are no questions on, on the questionnaire related to worms. The closest would be like, did you find the grimoire helpful to you or not? Do you have any feedback on the way that the app archives clues? Um, do you wish it was easier to access them? Do you find that your access is good to them? Do you find that your access is too easy to them? or to them is too easy to the point where it becomes intrusive. Mm. Those are the kinds of questions. These are the ones, but the ones that I asked are the ones that just like, well, this is a weird thing mm. for a person to say to another. Yeah. Um, and uh, you find yourself, if you're going through the app at all, yeah. you find yourself one night reading an entry on the plane of Leng, L-E-N-G. Lang appeared in several of Lovecraft's work and uh, appeared to also incorporate work by previous authors. For example, it is where the king in yellow held court. Mm. Um, and it is described as being either in Central Asia or in Antarctica or in uh, the Dreamlands, which is in a state that you can only access while dreaming. Um, and it is described as uh, being home to enormous spiders that are never seen, but are in evidence because the plane is covered with like cobwebs. And it is this um, a mountain, it, it's described as a mountain plateau, and more recent authors have posited that maybe mountain plateau might be a useful metaphor for an elevated state, mm. where maybe like that is in some way super dimensional. I don't know why I did that. That's something You're raising the roof. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> of consciousness. Of consciousness, Ooh, yeah. Nice. Norman is asking old school 
friends that had like English minors. Mm -hmm. What's the deeper meaning here, though? <laughs> uh, what does this mean? He doesn't know any English majors, so. One of your friends <laughs> who minored in English mm -hmm. then uh, is like, well, they, she, he, uh, offers you a, um, they're like, Arthur Mackin. I read one of his books in one of my classes on horror. Uh, and dig through their library and pull out uh, the three imposters and the great god Pan for you. Norman's reading that when he can't sleep. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I'm um, sure it's fine. If yeah. it was on a reading list, I'm sure it was passable. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it is an interesting look at what ghost stories looked like 150 years ago or 100 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I, I have a question about the timeline that we're currently like Ooh. experiencing. Not like in a in a macro sense. I mean, like um, uh, based on the previous session, mm -hmm. we were uh, at the very end. It was like the next day we went in to see Anna, mm -hmm. and then we um, showed her what we had to show her. Right, and she was very confused and um, and upset. Okay. Um, and so this is what's happening the days following, it sounds like. Yes. Yes. Uh, so, so we've already met with her and had that one meeting, but we haven't gone through to do anything else so far. We haven't even met up with each other again since. If, if you don't want to, I'm, I will leave yeah. that up to you. If you are contacting her, mm -hmm. then we can definitely play that out. Right. Uh, I just want to know If you want to contact in. others, that is also something that you can totally do and that yeah. we will play out. But this is, I just want to get this out of the way, is something that's happening at nights. Yeah. Great. Is the next scheduled event raid for the thing was in three weeks? The solstice. The solstice. Yeah. Or the equinox? Well, that's what equinox. we, uh, yeah, we well, determined I'm, it would have to have been the equinox. I didn't say, I, I said the equinox. What I really meant was Samhain. Samhain. Oh, yeah, okay. Or, yeah. I don't, I don't know, know what that means. Uh, it's an old Gaelic holiday or okay. Irish Celtic holiday. Um, it's celebrated basically on October 31st to November 1st. Oh, neat, okay. It's what was uh, uh, incorporated into Halloween and All Saints Cool. Eve, mm -hmm. Basically, okay. it's the antecedent to that. Okay. Huh, neat. Mm -hmm. um, the climax happens on Halloween. What could possibly go wrong? Yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so basically, I just wanted to get that kind of like montage out of the way. Yeah. If you want, pretend that like Boss air for strings in G is playing over it. You know, something peaceful, yeah, maybe. That's nice. And deliberate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, like that, the, like the library scene in Seven. Mm. I just love the idea that Frankie is just like, oh yeah, this is great. Hmm. And just being like, all my other dreams are always super weird, anyways, but like yeah. trying to take the most positive spin in it, not being quite clever enough to figure out if there's actually something weirder happening. Yeah, I'm Until he's like, going to be like hit right over the head about it. It's just like, this is this is sweet. I Of course I'd be good at fishing or being a fish well, or swimming or whatever. Fish, fishing, is, fishing as in yeah. being a fish. Yeah, you're good at fishing. <laughs> <laughs> what if you're an adorable otter? Ooh, Ooh, yeah. yeah. Who knows? It, it, it's very natural feeling. I'm in the <laughs> sea. I am one with the sea. Yeah. Have you ever gone swimming uh, as an adult? Oh, probably. Okay. I mean, Jessica takes me out, and we do all kinds of fitness stuff. So I imagine mm -hmm. there's this one time she was training for a triathlon, and I was with her for, like, all of five minutes before I kind of tapped out and just took selfies on the beach, but mm -hmm. I went in the water. <laughs> yeah, fair. I mean... Actually, would Jessica even swim, or would she just, like, get in the water and just, like, walk along the bottom? <laughs> I, she just runs the lake. She'd have to really like muscle through on account of not having a lot of body fat. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I was. Mm. She'd be fine though. She's very strong. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. I, I don't know. I personally, as 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 the game runner, I don't know how. I'm supposed to know everything. I don't know how well extremely muscular people swim. Um, but well, I, I don't know. She's got a 16 in strength though, so probably through sheer force of will, she makes it yeah. happen. Yeah, yeah. Mm. The, the Olympic swimmers don't have a lot of padding on them, and they, mm -hmm. they seem to be fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So, what are you doing in the daytime? If if anything outside of your routine, are you trying to stick to your normal routines? Do you have routines? 
I got to make rent. So like, <laughs> no matter what, I'm going to be, you know, answering calls, going into you know work and stuff like that. Every so often, when I'm when somebody asks me to fix their cell phone, I think of that moment when I ran into that woman who mm. oh. who brought that thing up, and I'm like, is this going to be another one of those? And it never happens, but it just now I'm always constantly reminded of that whenever somebody pulls out their cell phone to me. I'm just kind of like, what is that going to be? Is that going to be another one of those things? Are you looking for the app on other people's phones? Kind of just like absentmindedly as mm. I scroll through things to check to see what the problem is. It's like, and I don't see the app anywhere else. So, but it's like every time I have to check for it now. It's a okay. mild compulsion to do that. Um, do you keep up on literature? I mean... I'm probably reading stuff online more okay. than actually looking at books. But right. now I, I think what I would be doing is, is because it, she had mentioned Call of Cthulhu, so therefore I would be looking at, I'd be, I'd search for that. Or, what, when I said literature, I, uh, sorry, what I meant was like professional literature. Like, do you read, I don't like read the blogs, on, on like published science stuff or, or in, in your IT field. Issues. Oh yeah, yeah. Do I yeah. Read so my own I'm the, sorry, that wasn't clear. I see what you're, I see, yeah. I see what you're saying. Um, yeah, because okay. I mean that's part of part of my job. Yeah. Sorry, like, keep me up to date on this stuff. Um, there are a lot of like very like interesting articles in the maker space kind of corner of things where people are talking about using the um, the new generation of phones have really sensitive um, photo detectors. Mm -hmm. That can see quite clearly. That can they can even though they don't really have a need to, they can um, pick up infrared and ultraviolet mm -hmm. quite easily. And all it takes is like you know you you pop out the um, the lens filter yeah. and you put in a new one, and then you can have like an an infrared camera or an, or a UV camera. Mm -hmm. And this is just because like the 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 assumption is because it's kind of actually expensive to cut those functions out yeah. of a photo detector, so they just ship them with it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So a lot of like interesting like photo detection uh, kits you can do, uh, you know, if you want to like do DIY spectroscopy with your device, that is something you can now do. And also the microphones are very sensitive, again, because it's turning out to be like easier to just make them that sensitive than to try to filter it out. Right. Uh, and to recap, we're like slightly in the future, so everything's just a little bit cooler than all the technology we have. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So just imagine everything we have plus plus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But cheaper anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, thinner, lighter. Um, Stronger, faster. Longer lasting batteries, higher resolution. Cool. Uh, in in the Expanse, I don't know if you watched the sci-fi show The Expanse. All of their phones were just like sheets of glass. Oh, yeah. Cool. And w the one of the main characters is cracked. <laughs> And doesn't work properly. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, and then you can always tell, like the the people that some everyone has a case on theirs because otherwise you'd just be able to see through it. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, huh? Uh, Frankie's hustling. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta stay relevant. All right. Uh, so you know, chat with my manager about some strategies. We looked at our numbers based on that thing. Mm -hmm. You know, overall, a fairly positive event. We're gonna keep going with it, but okay. uh, uh, feedback from the community is. Uh, if there's content, maybe don't hide in the hallway. You know, it's 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 fair. It's fair, but uh, gotta gotta give the people what they love. All uh, right. And that is more Frankie, not Frankie hiding in the hallway. But if there's any new apps that are coming out, definitely mm -hmm. keep my eyes peeled on the App Store. Some another exciting opportunity, anything like that. Uh, looking for some of the like hashtag sponsored content. You know. All right. Yeah. There there are always like new fitness apps, new yep. things that get you engaged with your like that try to get you outside and moving around yep. and like. Uh, whatever you want to be doing, sure. we'll find an excuse for doing it. Yeah, I'll with... probably pester. If there's fitness stuff, I'm pestering Jessica to maybe do it with me too. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, it's probably uh, new, new stuff that takes like adds to filters and I'm stuff. I'm just like going new... to work. Ooh, for face the swap. Yeah, there's okay. new face swaps and filters and stuff that you can get. New apps to do that. Uh, Norman, other than all the reading, mm -hmm. is also just periodically looking at the pin board, arranging it a bit, mm -hmm. oh, in the and app. then sharing yeah. it with all of them. I'm mostly ignoring this because I am busy at work mm. and I'm training for another triathlon, uh, and also invest like emailing the bobsled Canada people. <laughs> uh, they get back to you. There's a tryout. Um, let's say in Whistler. Ooh. Cool. Um, that I don't know how Olympic qualifications go for Olympic tryouts go, but sure. 
<laughs> okay, I'm going to save my money for going to Whistler and spending the night in a nice hotel so I feel rested, so I'm picking up extra shifts at work. All right. And I'm doing extra squats and lunges. <laughs> Getting extra swole. Every time I get one of these uh, uh, shares from Norman, mm -hmm. um, that I, I open it up and I look at it, I'm trying to make any sense of what it is that he's talking about. That there's all okay. like, here, here's a new thing. And it's like, don't, I don't get it. I don't know why this is so important. You know, like it's, you know. There's a new note that just says worms? Question yeah, mark? it's just a thing, and I'm like, what the hell is worms? Why did he spell it that way? And I'm it's gonna, just kind of like, whatever. I'm going to um, send you a picture of a bobsled. It actually, I, like, I try to fit it in there somewhere. Yeah. Uh, at some point, there was an update, and it added, basically the major feature it added was like a little sketchbook Ooh. where you, you can draw things, and you don't need to enter text on the numpad anymore, but you can totally like do sketches. If you want, I text Anna back and like I thought I was out of the beta. Why am I still getting these these uh, updates? Oh yeah, if you want to be out, then yes, you don't get that. Yeah. Oh no no, I <laughs> like I, oh, would, no. I would have been like I thought the beta was over. Like, oh 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 yeah. yes. Um, but we're still getting updates to the app on our phone. Yeah, if you, if you haven't deleted it, yeah, then it will update whenever it connects to the store to check for updates. Yeah. Um, I mean, given that. Sanhine's coming up. It's kind of like, I guess we we're going to do that event. again, yeah, right? Yeah, so I'm like, I'm not going to delete it, but I yeah. keep getting updates. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. So, mm -hmm. um, Like, oh, maybe the assets will be better. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> then several days after the, the test, um, you are at home when the app buzzes, or you get a notification from it. What time of day? Uh, early evening, okay. actually. Cool. Or no, uh, no, sorry, early afternoon. Around uh, around two thirty in the afternoon. Who would anyone be at home? You would be at work. I'd be at work. I'd be in my car. Mm -hmm. Would anyone be at home? You would probably also be at work, Norman. I'd probably be um, going home from work. Okay. I can be at home. Okay. Um, yeah. So yeah. I'm sitting there lining up the perfect selfie, and my phone starts to vibrate. I'm like, huh, OK. Um, I, I, do you open the app? Yeah, yeah. I tap on the phone. What, what does the title of the push notification say? Um, registered mail. Huh. Sure. Tap, tap. OK, it brings up the camera. and Which is in selfie mode still? Uh, no, it's flipped it around. OK. Uh, and. It there is like, you know, the the a your attention, edge. Yeah, yeah, a blinking edge towards your door. Huh. So I'm like, I'm sprawling on the couch. Turn over that way and I'll look at the door. Mm -hmm. Or, it. How to do this? It doesn't know what your apartment looks like, so it would actually just highlight all edges. Sure. And then wants you to find a door. Oh, okay, sure. What it recognizes as a door. Yeah. Mm. So. Yeah. Okay. Do you do you go over to it? Or? Yeah, towards an interior door, not okay. like the outside door. So like the the door to the bathroom. Okay. You open the bathroom door. Okay. And I'm still looking through the camera here. Yep. And um, on the ground, in the app, you see a registered mail envelope. Huh. I look on the ground in my in my bathroom. Cool. I tap on the thing in the phone. Mm -hmm. Uh, the envelope like appears. And it's highlighted, and it's like you know when you get a drop in Pogo in Pokemon Go, um, like added to inventory or whatever. Yeah, and it's just like highlighted in the middle of the thing, kind of floating a little bit. Sure. And if you double tap on it, it gives you that amazing like, the it, it's one of those envelopes that seals and then has the pull tab. Sure. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Oh. And then when you pull it, it gives the, and the phone vibrates Ooh. just a little bit. Just that haptic feedback. If it yeah. feels like you just, just did like, it. Like, yeah. Oh, this update's pretty sweet. That's okay. Nice. All right. Um, <clears throat> what's in the What's in the letter? It is a newspaper clipping. Ooh. Um, the The headline is from. Uh, Twenty fifteen. Uh, what is the current year? Twenty twenty two. Okay, so about seven years ago. Okay. Um. And it says, uh, local family killed in boating accident. Huh. 
The story is about a um, a well-to-do local family, the McCray family or McKay family. Uh, the father, mother, and younger sister have all been killed in a boating accident, where their sailboat was swamped and overturned in a storm uh, while they were on like a little day excursion. Sure. Basically, like a completely unexpected storm swept up and overturned their boat, and they all drowned. However, Ooh. the eldest son was found on shore um, later by hikers and resuscitated. Hmm. McCray. Uh, and McKay. 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 Is this a name of some significance? The son's name is George. Huh. Uh, Do we all have, are we all seeing this article because we've all brought up on our phones? Your phones would all have gone off. Yeah. Going home from work, that pops up and I'm looking through it and seeing where it will fit in the pin board there. Probably noticing the name George. Mm -hmm. But then we've all, we should all assume that we've all read it. Yeah, okay, if you want to. Yeah. I, I don't know. Um, I'd get to it eventually. Okay. Yeah. It does not fit anywhere in the pin board. Like there it no, refuses? Like, it, it doesn't refuse. It goes up. But there's no threads to draw between anything. Mm. Um, but it has the usual functionalities of these. Like the, you have the newspaper clipping and the other thing where you could search like the name or the date or um, va various other things. Or flip it over. Yeah. Yeah, you could flip it over. And on the back is like... An unrelated story. Yeah. Okay. Um, Half of a mattress ad. Sure. Yeah, something <laughs> yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this was like page. This would have been local, um, local news, um, and on the back is like further local news. Mm -hmm. But it's an actual story. Mm -hmm. um, huh. I'm gonna pull up the video. The little thing. How's it going, guys? It's at Frankie. Just give me a little update. So you might remember a couple weeks ago we were doing that horror game. Well, guess what? There's some more content coming out. Pretty hyped. We're going to get the crew together. One more big thing. I know you love that hashtag horror content, so get ready for the spoofs this holiday season. All right. So is there anything here you want to investigate? I mean, Norman's probably looking into that name since it popped okay. up. And he recognized it from the dream, too. Yeah. Um, searching for the McKays, you're able to find a family genealogy um, going back several generations to the mid-1840s in this area. The McKays were kind of like nobodies, and then they settled here and wound up owning a lot of property in a very lucrative part of town mm. and kind of became old money um, hmm. over the course of the next several generations. Hmm. Um, they're well-to-do. They own a big estate. They owned several other things, and then they sold it all off. And they became kind of very insular uh, over the generations, from what you can tell, hmm. and don't really make much news. But they are kind of recognized as a founding family a little bit, if such a thing can even really be thought said to exist here that anyone who cares about local history would recognize that name. And eventually, they all died off. All of them. In a mysterious boating accident. Mm -hmm. Except for George. Except for George. Uh, searching for George McKay. Um, give me a library use roll. Library use. Oh, OK. Uh, Frankie's not looking up the library. Ooh, I did honest. not get that one. I am going to look it up, though. Nope. I feel like um, Norman would ask, forgetting her name, the developer. Anna. Anna. Um, how she found George, or like how she knew of him to ask to do the app test. We'll get to that in a moment. I just okay. want to follow this out. Did anyone succeed at their library use roles? I did not. I okay. Did not. So you're not able to get a whole lot of detail on him. You find a couple of like uh, very like oblique mentions to him. 
he won silver in the BC Youth Summer Games in fencing. Oh, yeah. Ooh, in fencing. Mm -hmm. Saber fencing. Okay. Wow, okay. Um, that's about it. Uh, he came into, he inherited his family's money and then sold it off. You find a couple of mentions of like estate sales. Okay. Hmm. Um, like he was blowing through the money or he was just consolidating it? You get the impression that he's, um, these are long-term sales, like auctions. It feels like somebody sloughing off. Downsizing. Yeah, downsizing it. Um, and then you are also able to find a, uh, a video series that was produced by an engineering firm who were refurbishing and renovating a, um, an old disused uh, Department of Defense coastal fort that was sold to a private owner. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Cool. And they're renovating it into a private home. And it's, it's one of these like 36 part series. I found one of these, actually me as a person, I found one of these online where they were renovating a old um, missile silo somewhere in the middle of nowhere America. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the overall impression that people had was, I guess the army really doesn't sell things if they don't, if they have any use because it was a nightmare to do. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They were constantly dealing with like cave-ins and like weird gases filling up the silo that they had to pump out. Wow. And like they had to have like some pumps running all the time. And this is less problem prone because I'll say it's just more convenient and more livable than that place turned out to be. Mm -hmm. But it's still kind of cool. Yeah. And uh, the private owner is named McKay. Do we have a photo of this human? Uh, I know Anna does. No, no, no. I just, just tried to see. A picture if... of George while he was at the Summer Games fencing. Yeah. Like, is yeah. there anything like yeah. that? Yeah. Um, you're able to find a kind of. Uh, yes, if you search for that, you're able to find uh, a picture of him wearing his, like, fencing gear with his. Um, uh, with his mask, and he's holding a saber with the rest of the, the fencing participants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And just to uh, connect the dots, it's pretty yeah. clear it's the same person as yeah. Thousand Yard Stare McSpoops. Actually, give me a, a spot hidden roll. Ooh. Oh, no, I'm good at this. Damn it. This Wait, is there anyone there who's looking at this? Yeah. Anyone who's this looking is the roll I always want to fail. Wait, oh, I passed it. First? Yeah. Oh, damn. I passed it by 40. Ooh, I did not pass that. I passed it. He's wearing his silver medal, and he looks sullen. Hmm. Huh. Like a poor loser. Yeah. He does not look like he has graciously won silver. Mm. Sultan, we lost gold. Very interesting. <laughs> yeah. um, how many days until our, our raid? A as convenient. many as you need to do whatever it is you want to do. Yeah, a convenient amount. A okay. convenient yes. amount of time. We can skip ahead in time if yeah. you like. I just wonder if I just wonder if Frankie would have any reason to like reach out to people to like prep for this, maybe. Norman's reaching out to Frankie to prep for it. I mean, okay. I, I have a reason. I mean, you've been reaching out constantly. Yeah. yeah. I imagine that you would want to have like some sort of like if you're thinking this way be like, I need like ghost hunting gear. I need like infrared, oh, infrared right. vision and stuff. Yeah. Right? yeah okay. Like, I'm going all in. I'm going all in. Last time I wasn't quite there enough. So I'm going to show up like the people out of like <laughs> spook hunters. Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, oh I've spent, I've spent a portion of my, uh, I, I, I make it okay living it like this, but I've got all the props. Right. I've got like one of those weird Geiger hunters that's supposed to tell you where ghosts are. Uh, and I've got like cargo pants and a utility belt now. Uh, I, I rolled fairly well with wealth. My, mm -hmm. my yearly income's up there, so like, I'm okay. blowing an unreasonable amount. And and I bet you at this point, because uh, 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 Jessica's probably very annoyed with me, I'm, I'm spending an amount that Jessica's like, seriously, why are you blowing all this money on this crap? If you have two thousand dollars to spend on a ghost hunter outfit, I need a really nice hotel room in Whistler with pillowy pillows and nice sheets, because I'm gonna go push a bobsled in the middle of November. And that would be great. Okay. If you have thousands of dollars just laying around. Here, here's an alternate plan. Why don't we just pamper ourselves at the spa when you get back? <laughs> I will. I 
can and will break you in half, Frankie. <laughs> wow. What? Everybody likes massages. You find no shortage of people who are willing to sell you this stuff. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you are I'm able take to take you out. Can I see your character sheet? Actually, Shh. let's have some fun with this. <laughs> uh, you have in ten. You're totally fine. Um, the wisdom's low. Give me a bargain roll. Do you know Russian? <laughs> Not a word of it. All right, bargain. Rolling 5% or less. I fail by 40. Yeah, we can spend that kind of money. No problem. <laughs> Great. Comrade. Uh, you find, like, Russian surplus. Like, oh, just, yes. Oh, like, military surplus. This it's is very perfect. impressive looking on the cool. website. I call, um, I call them and I get their sizes. Because if we're going to do this thing together, we all got to look the part. Oh my god. We'll Norman's giving one. them immediately. <laughs> sure, yeah, I'll give, I'm like, I'm, I, I'm, a, I'm a man's tall medium. Cool, I vlog all this, by the way. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? It's at Frankie. We're going all in on this ghost hunting thing. Check it out. It's the real deal. Got the whole gear. These ghosts are going down. Just wait out for Spoop Hop Timber. That's not how that word goes. Yeah. yeah. Do you do you get like do you fixate on things when you do this? Oh, absolutely. Like, have you learned a lot about uh, post-Soviet camouflage patterns? Oh, probably. I, I imagine diving down the wrong hole. I'm not looking up Lovecraft. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking up anything relevant to this. But like weird militarized uh, um, 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 ghost hunting gear, I'm all about right now. You Dude. have uh, seasonal appropriate. Uh, camis. Oh, and it's waterproof. <laughs> Are you dressing fashionably or tactically? Oh, fashionably. Okay. That'll look good. <laughs> you have your tailor. Yeah. Like, it fits you real well. Perfect. All, all of this stuff is, like, I wear Lululemon professionally and all this stuff is tight. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> I didn't know they made a crop top version of a tactical vest. They don't. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't know that. I have done my part. <laughs> we, are, we are ready. We have okay. never been more ready. Um, ready to to uh, trip Frankie so he gets mud on his tactical boots or something. I'm low-key irritated. Several days after you have finished submitting your feedback, mm -hmm. And maybe shortly after you get all this stuff from Frankie, Anna contacts you. And she wants to arrange an in-person meeting with everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it... presumably we can, um, I'm going to say that the planets align and you can get five adults with compatible schedules together in one room together. Awesome. For, That's this is some sort of shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? Isn't that amazing? We can just agree that that happens. Wow. Are we at Stafu's? Yeah, we. Love and it. she arranges the meeting at Stafu's, the bar where you Stafu. There is a real bar like this, or there was in New York. Really? It was called Burp Castle, and you couldn't talk above a whisper, otherwise you would be shushed rudely. You're, you're speaking in past tense. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's New York. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so do you meet there? Yep. Anything yep. else you want to do before this meeting? No. I can't think of a single no. thing else that I'd want to have ready for this. All right. Belch, excuse me. Um, so you all go to the meeting. And when you enter the, the private room, Anna looks very different to you. Uh, she's changed kind of her entire look. Um, okay. her, uh, her clothes are now kind of Instead of like very sleek, they're very like jagged looking almost. Um, Do I know the designer? Give me a knowledge roll, just a straight up no roll. It's pretty good. Yep, yeah, uh, I get, I uh, passed by 35. <laughs> Beautiful. 
due to your recent deep dive into um, uh, tactical wear, you recognize this as a um, pattern recognition defeating kind of uh, look. Nice. This is a very low key um, street wear look that is designed to, if not defeat, at least slow down uh, facial recognition software. Okay. okay. Is, is she wearing any makeup or stuff that's yes. off as well? Her her cheekbones are like um, concealed, and like the 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 effect is very like countered how norm makeup normally looks. She looks very flat faced almost. Almost right, except like there's there's like a it looks weird. It looks very strange. Like her air, hair has this um, almost shimmery texture to it, and is cut in this way that like falls across half of her face and then obscures like other things and feels like there's weird angles and she looks like a first world war battleship <laughs> right cool. all right uh, all right it is very difficult to determine no to you it's not that bad if you were a phone camera it would be very difficult to determine her heading speed and uh bearing i give right. her a knowing look mm -hmm. i'm just disturbed behind mm -hmm. this complete 180 I mean, um, she looked kind of fashionable before, and now she looks kind of weirdly fashionable, and I, that's not my concern. Mm -hmm. Norman's seen weirder people at the pharmacy. She, she <laughs> looks like the cover of a Shadowrun manual. Yeah, kind of. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, she invites you to sit down and says, uh, so in consultation with what you've told me in your questionnaires and uh, with what contact I've been able to have with the previous beta testers, thank you, actually, uh, Peter, for that information, I was able to contact Deirdre, and we got her phone cleared off. Great. Um, turns out you needed to put it in airplane mode, turn off the network, wipe it, and then I also cut her out of the back end. It was trying to update it all the time. I Basically, mean, yeah. there was that bug in the new iOS. Yeah, I would have done that, but I mean, she took the phone back too fast, and I mean, I know how to yeah, do my new, job properly. Yeah. No, it's, <laughs> it's all good. I got rid of it. She's fine. Um, it was... I understand why it upset her. I'm ceasing development on the app. Oh. And I can clean it off your phones if you want. But I am um, no longer confident in the viability of the product. And I think it's best to get out while um, before I have invested too much of myself into it. Well, that's really disappointing, because I spent a lot of money getting ready for the event this weekend. Huh? <laughs> it's like the thing that was in the, like, the picture, like... Right, right, yes, that. Yeah, for Sam that, Hine. Yeah. That, I... I don't know where that came from. I don't know why that was in there or what it picked up. The app, all it does is it consolidates and correlates the disparate contents of what it can find about you, right? So I'm assuming somewhere it found something like that that maybe it thought that, you know, your previous search histories on Google or your contacts may have liked and put it in and just synthesized it into that. But I, I don't know what that is, and I, I'm, I'm ceasing development on it, and I want out. If anyone would like, they can roll psychology. Oh. I mean, I'll try it. My speciality. Ooh. I fail. No. By how much? <laughs> a lot. 33. All right, long shot. Uh, on because my part. there was an actual bonus on this one. Oh. Because it's a very simple, like, okay. roll. Okay, well, I have, I have a 50 in psychology, but I rolled an 83. I okay. got it. <laughs> At the 5%, I got 5. LRR sack. <laughs> um, <laughs> There was Whoa! Oh, he rolled a six. I rolled a six, and my skill was five. What are the chances, <laughs> Jessica? As somebody who has a lot of training in this and knowing what to look for when people are telling you, "Yeah, no, I totally was getting up at five and running and cut out carbs," um, she is lying about not having confidence in this. Mm -hmm. And the, when she explain, the more she's explaining about why she's out and why she's ceasing development on it, the more she is lying. Hmm. And that is also what you get. 
with your very good rolls. Oh, that aha. Okay. Yeah, this good. doesn't. Wait a second. This doesn't add up. Is the overall impression that you get? I mean, you just pushed a new update. We got the push notifications and everything. It's going pretty well. I just, I don't think it's going to have a lot of a public appeal. I think the marketplace is too crowded right now, and I just don't think it's good. Um, and I think it's best to to get it while I can. And I wanted you all to know that, because there were some weird things that happened in that. So don't don't even worry about it. I'm. It'll be off the it'll be off the uh, the the update list, whatever the app store is for these kinds of like test products, the Steam green light kind of analog, um, on its next update. And if you want, I can, we can take it off your phones permanently now. I can't stop you from re-downloading it until then, but it's, it'll, it'll, it can be, oh. this can be the end of it. Um, um, are you going to make something else? Because I mean, I'll be to test anything. I can keep you in the loop. Cool. I, okay. would, I very much appreciate your feedback. Thank you all for being diligent with it. And getting back to me about it, I really do appreciate that. Do you at least want to follow through with this event with us? We're, I mean, he dropped a lot of money on it. Give me your character sheet. I forget the name of all the skills. I think this will be a persuade roll, but or fast talk. Ooh. Oh, I think I'm trying uh -oh. to persuade other people can try yeah, to Yeah, uh, depend yes. You can give me if you want to um, depending on how you're approaching this, I want you to roll whatever skill you think is important here. If you want to get more information out of her, that's one thing. If you want to try to like negotiate with her about things. I succeeded by over thirty. Okay. I Ooh. failed. Wow. <laughs> failed hard. Is there a critical fail in this game? In some circumstances, yes. In others, it doesn't really matter. All right. All right. You probably just flubbed your. I did words. real bad. Yeah, <laughs> she's like. What do you say to her? What What are you trying to get across with what you're saying to her? I mean, we. What are you trying to persuade her of? We're trying to persuade her, like, hey, we've all opened up our schedules. Mm -hmm. For this event, it's related to your product, and I know I'm really excited for it. I know at least one other person here is excited for it. Are you not at least curious? I mean, after all, right? Like, you're saying to us that you don't know, you seem like you don't know what we're talking about when we tell you about all these things that we're seeing, and you're very surprised by it, which is. A little curious because it means your game. So, I mean, if it's not you putting it in the game, then is somebody else like, has they have they like hacked your account and started putting in stuff in your game you didn't know was supposed to be there? Like, like that seems a, that seems a little messed up to me. Like, you, don't you want to get to the bottom of that? There is no way. It's. I've taken precautions. There's no way anyone else could be inserting things into this game. This... I am not doing anything novel here. I'm doing what we all do, which is I take things that other people have done and put them together in new and interesting ways. The assembly is the novel, is the... the um, what's the... the Adverb form, novelty. No, um, <laughs> the novelty. The new the, thing. The novelty. Yeah. yeah. The the synthesis <laughs> is the novelty. Yeah. I am confident that if you like this experience a lot, somebody else will develop something similar very soon, and you won't need my product to do it. I think what's going on here is inevitable. I think it's inevitable that another game like this will emerge. I have psychoanalysis. Ooh. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. And I actually rolled not a great pass, but a fairly decent pass on that. OK. Uh, 
Can I get a bead on what she's actually talking about? Like, you know, like, I guess not, like, from psychology, but, like, what is she, like, for me, uh, the player, I'm like, she is deeply terrified. Is that something that Jessica would be picking up? Yes. Yeah. Yes. She's, um, like, scared. Would I be able to assist that with the five roll I got from just psychology earlier? Yes. Um, so what you get from the psychoanalysis role mm -hmm. is that she is disturbed by what she is discussing and um, may even revealed a bit more than she intended to with that last thing. Mm. Um, this is also the impression that you get. Yeah, I was up this guy's 76 when we were talking about her outfit, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Mm. So when you say it's inevitable that something else comes along, you're kind of talking like this thing is going. This there's you've just you've you've put together an idea that's gonna get out anyhow. Like high waisted pants will come back whether or not anybody likes it. What I mean to say is that somebody else will do what I've done, no matter. She actually stops in the middle of the sentence and like, not that, but you get the impression yeah. that if she could suck the words back in, mm -hmm. she would. Mm -hmm. um, I don't need to make this. Somebody else can and will make this. But do you want All it does, to? No. I don't want mine to be the one that does this. I don't, I don't want to make this game anymore. Okay. And if you want to follow the threads, go wild. But I'm out here. Well, thank you for your time and inviting us. Um, and she, she says, uh, there's, there's a Victor Hugo line. that she uh, recalls. Il y a quelque chose plus puissant de la force brutale des bayonnettes. C'est l'idée dont le temps est venu et l'air est sonné. I know that we're Canadian and totally bilingual. Mm -hmm. Not all of Chad is. What did you just say? <laughs> In the original French, it reads, literally, there is something stronger than the brutal strength of bayonets. The idea whose time has come and whose hour is sounding. Uh, better known as um, nothing can stop an idea whose time has come. Uh, nice quote. Well, I don't speak French, but that sounded very beautiful. Yeah. Does she just like say that and walk out or what? No, she doesn't walk out. She just kind of like Deflates. Yeah. Closes up, down, closes off. Um, she opens the app for the, the pub and calls for the bill. Mm. All right. All right. Well, I take, I take out my phone. I said, okay, well, take it off my phone then. I mean, if it's done, take it off my phone. <laughs> she removes it. She does something on her computer. Cool. Well, I'll see you guys later then, I guess. And I just walk out and get back into my car. Yeah, she covers your bill if you well, had anything. Hey, Jessica. Yeah. What do you think about turning this this ghost hunting gear into like some adventure, like wilderness adventure gear up in Whistler? I'll take care of the room. Done. Hell yeah. All right, I'll hand I'll hand her my phone. She removes it. Cool. Yeah, uh, and if Frankie's out, I'm out too. So I'll be like, whoop, there you <laughs> go, whatever. Norman keeps his. He's had fun playing with it. Well, whatever I work on next, do you want to work on it too? Thank you. I'll call you. For the podcast people, I was nodding there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Anna gets up, walks out of the room, out of the bar, and out of your lives. Huh. What now? I like the first look better. Like, the, the first look was kind of modern. This one was, like, very, like, I guess maybe this is what the tech kids are wearing these days. It was very cyberpunk, very fashion forward. Yeah. Uh, I could tell with her costuming that she was trying to go for that, like, off the grid, hunted fugitive kind of look. It was pretty hot. Yeah, it was super edgy, both in, like, haircut angles and in, like, you know, you know, edginess. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I got I to gotta update my people. <sighs> hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Frankie. Just want to let you know I'm super disappointed, but that big Halloween event I was going to do, looks like it's canceled. But, but, because you always want to bring you that hashtag content, I'm off to Whistler. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're going to do some adventure hiking. I got this sick outfit. Check it out with my girl, Jess. What's up? It's going to be rad. See you then. Do we really have to call off? Like, going and visiting the place, though? I, I mean, we opened our schedules to it already. I, I've literally gone home at this point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to be fair, okay? Yeah. Mm. I Just mean, he's got a point, Frankie. Like, you're, didn't your manager tell you, like, all the spooky stuff is really good, especially in October, because that's what people want? We could still, like, go out into the woods and, like, take some spooky pictures and being like, what up? Woo, spoops. Like the Whistler things, not in, like the bobsled trials are until the sixteenth of November. Maybe if I maybe I should just like record the whole thing, and if it turns out fine, I can upload it. It can be a test run for all of the gear that you bought. Yeah, well, you could like Snapchat it, and then if it turns out good, you could like do a YouTube video later. Okay, fine. <sighs> so I never get a day off. <laughs> for the record, you do have a time, and you do have a place. Mm. Right, you know from the landscape where it is because it's a recognizable landscape, and you do have a time from the, the lunar cycle and the stars. So you know where to go and when to be, where to be and where to go, when. Yes. Where to go and when to be. Right. <laughs> you have an X and Y coordinate. I guess if we're gonna do this thing, we should invite Peter as well. Just to keep. I mean. Here's the first time. What if we end up with one of those four-person puzzles again and we can't do it because there's only three of us? Well, there's only one person with the app on their phone, so it's probably irrelevant, but eh, fine. Sure. He was good with phones. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I am, like, trying to contact him somehow to do that. Mm. I'm the one pushing this event still, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm ignoring it. Ooh. Okay. Um, I just don't feel like I have a reason to get involved. Yeah, yeah no, this fair. point, you know, I'm out. I'm out of the game. She said it was over. It's like I don't see why I have to be involved in the next thing that happens there. Mm. Um, a couple of days pass. You get a text message from a number you don't recognize. That's weird. I mean, not, not that weird, but, you know, I get texted all the time, spam and stuff, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it says, um, hello, I am, uh, uses your name, hello, Peter. Uh, the message, this is in text form. It says, I represent uh, George McKay. Please contact me at this number um, if you're interested in um, pursuing a class action lawsuit related to the um, uh, product you were recently testing. Absolutely, I need to make rent. <laughs> <laughs> you know how expensive it is to live in Victoria? <laughs> yeah. Amazing. It gives you a, um, a reply comes up quickly and says, thank you. Please um, uh, meet in person. It, and it gives you an address and a time on the 31st early evening mm -hmm. and then like this place that is in the bay <laughs> okay like in actually in the bay like no 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 but like in that in the locale that in was that in, area yeah you would you would know that i'm not going to ask you for a role for that but yeah. like you drive around a lot and you'd be like oh that address that's a <laughs> yeah yeah either i think 
Well, okay, so you know what? So now, I get up the next morning, <laughs> and I drive over to the gym. Yeah. Where Jessica works. Mm-hmm. And because that's the only way I know how to contact any of these people. Okay. Right? I've deleted all your contacts off my phone. I'm, I'm, I would like, I'm done with this crap. you blocked his number because you're getting so I'm many like, texts. I'm getting all these texts. I don't want to have anything to do with it. And I come in to see Jessica in the gym. Peter, you're here to do something about your arms. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, what the hell is this? Did you send this to me? No. If somebody representing George McKay uh -huh. apparently said that I could be involved in a class action lawsuit. And you know I got to make rent. So I said, sure, I'm in. And they sent me a date and a time to meet them to discuss the details. And it's October 31st. And it's right around where we, it's, look at the address. Menzies. Oh, yeah, hey, right? interesting. Right? Huh. What's that nearby? James Bay. That big freaking mural picture that we saw, right? Oh. It's the same, it's the same overlook. Hmm. Huh. You've been there. You walk a lot. I figured you'd been there. Anyway, I thought, did you not send me this? Are you guys not trying to punk me or something? No. I don't, I mean, wait a minute. Hold on. Can I just, just grab that address from you? Yeah. And I'm going to just text Norman. I'm going to be like, hey, Norman. You're the one who really wants to do this thing, and I'm along for it because I want to help out Frankie, and Frankie's going to help me go to Whistler to do the bobsled tryouts. So where is the place we have to go? Could you give me, like, a Google Maps to make sure I get there, and about what time should we be meeting? Send. Oh, yeah, just, like, pinned right here on Google Maps. Um, this is couple nearby places that we can meet to walk there if you oh, need yeah, to. If you want to get food first, here's yeah, if a you need food, <laughs> we can make We can make an evening of it. Mm. Amazing. Uh, for the record, the address is not in town. It is west of town. And you would recognize it as being... Um, uh, actually, give me a knowledge roll if you recognize its significance. I fail. I pass. I feel like Norman wouldn't recognize. I'm okay. not there. That's true. You pass? I pass. Oh, it's... Um, not by a lot. But. It's the old fort. There was like... Back in like the 19... Let's say this is more modern than the actual one. Back in like the late 1930s, the government decided to build a series of like small coastal forts along the west coast uh, to defend you know, the naval base in case they needed to. And, uh, you know, they built a lot of bunkers and, and uh, like... So like this near Macaulay Point? Yeah, kind of. The, this is a, a fantastical reinvention of that idea. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, they never installed the guns, hmm. but it was built to defend against the Japanese or whoever. Uh -huh. Somebody will certainly try to attack us. And it was built to defend against anyone and no one and never needed to be staffed. They yeah. poured all the concrete. It's going to point all the cannons at the ships that will never appear. Yeah. yeah. Somebody, somebody's going to try something, and we hope they do, because then we'll be ready we'll be for ready. them. Uh, and th 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 it was never staffed. It was never completed, really. It's just like a bunch of like concrete casemates and magazines and joists and hallways that uh, will probably be there for hundreds of years. Hmm. Was this also near the place where they were doing that development for that private... Uh, it was. How about that? What's that? That's <laughs> the, the, uh, the video that uh, Norman would have found and I probably would have also seen because he would have kept sending me these things. And it was a video based on, oh, George McKay is the owner, or there's a McKay who's an owner of a private, uh, a private um, residence that's a converted missile silo ah, type thing, a converted sure, military, military installation, thingy. yeah. Mm. So, yeah, okay. So is the address that Norman has sent me the same as the address that he has sent me? Yes. And it's at the same time? Yeah. So is it Norman who's doing this? I wouldn't. I don't think that's the kind of thing he'd do. I think he'd just pester you until you agreed. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I blocked him on my phone because I got sick of hearing all of his stuff. Uh. Well, unblock Norman.
Mm. That's a lot of messages. Life was so much better when they just wouldn't send. <laughs> that, 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 <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that's actually how that works. It just so. all it stays, it stays backed up and then come through <laughs> at the end. Jesus. I, I thought that would be funny. That's not. Yeah, it. it's, yeah, it's yeah. fine. I think um, it is funny. <laughs> fine. All right. Um, I mean, I, I keep having those dreams. Mm. You know, um, which aren't like bad, but it's weird because it's like the same kind of dream every night. Um, and this is weird, and I just thought by if I just uninstall the app and I went away, like I'd just be done with this. But I keep having these dreams anyway. And like last night I had that dream again. Um, so there's something up. The dream with the black mirrored glass that's not glass? No, the, the dream that I feel this immense pressure on my chest and the tendrils of the ocean rise. Look, it sounds stupid when I say it out loud, but I wake up and I feel like all sick to my stomach, except I didn't feel sick to my stomach in my dream. It doesn't matter. If there's... I think the only way I'm going to get through this is if I actually do whatever it is you guys are going to be doing. So right. I'll come join you for this, and Norman, I'll come join you for this. Stop texting me. I immediately <laughs> text you back. Yay! <laughs> so, it's just yeah. like heart eye emoji. So I guess if uh, Frankie still has all of his weird ghost hunting crap. I'll wear some of it and we can go get this over with. And maybe, maybe, maybe by doing it, it'll put my mind at ease and I'll stop having these really, like, just weird, the same dream over and over. Or maybe you'll get so scared you'll come out a stronger person on the other side. How motivational. That's my job. Thank you. <laughs> Do you need me to fix your front desk? computer or anything like that while I'm here? No, everything works perfectly here. Great. I'm going to go uh, say that I'm on call again. Can you maybe do some like bicep things? Like not, like that's not me advising you professionally because I haven't charged you anything. That's just me, you know, as an acquaintance saying that, you know, we would uh, some, some, some tricep dips would probably uh, go a long way. As a condition of getting my job, I had to be able to lift 45 pounds and I can and I think that's sufficient. So I'm going back out to my car and I'm going to get myself a teen burger. <laughs> You could absolutely um, examine Peter's diet going back months just by excavating and collating his back seat. <laughs> That's disgusting. Uh, probably not. I mean, that, that wasn't really my thing but, to... Yeah, yeah. But I it's like, like that. you, that's what you feel like. Yeah. Right? Like, <laughs> ah, bomb, bomb. No, I'm right. That's part of the character now. That's what he does. Consider he eats some broccoli. The back seat. Yeah. I shout at him as he leaves. <laughs> Eat less salt in your diet. Yeah. Uh, it's like, um, sorry, non sequitur, but I do these. You know, uh, Steve, nineteen eighty nine, MRE meal reviews. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I just have this horrible vision that one day he's going to be eating something. And he'll be like, oh, this is really good, right? Because all he does is apparently eat MREs, and he's just going to grind to a halt with a horrible like grinding noise, <laughs> and the autopsy will reveal that he's just full of salt. <laughs> And he's just like he'll just stop with that like really genial smile on his face, eating like some some ration food. Just say nice. Tipping point finally. Yeah. yeah, just like very biblical, turning to a pillar of salt. Yeah. <laughs> God, I love that man. <laughs> um, okay, so the night of the thirty first arrives. And you all pile into various cars and go out there? Is there anything anyone else wanted to do before then? Very important. I update my viewers. Hey, what's up, everybody? At Frankie, surprise! The Halloween event is back on! Whoa! Spooktastic! I'm so stoked. We're getting the crew back together. We're ready in our ghost hunting gear. We're heading down to a mysterious location. And we're going to get to the bottom of this mystery. Hope you come with us. Okay. Replies. <laughs> on Insta, I guess, or whatever all, the analog. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, whatever, whatever's hip in twenty twenty. Yeah, exactly. Two. Whatever the teens are using. Mm -hmm. um, Got to stay relevant. Okay, so you arrive at this location, and it is um, it's colder than than is seasonal, really, and um, you know there are clouds kind of gathering on the horizon. It's you know it's 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 late autumn in Victoria, and it's going to rain. Good thing we've got these amazing, multi-purpose, ghost-hunting, fashionable outfits. I have a camel bandana. Mm. My, I am wearing a crop top. Yep. 
So I'm going to leave my Gore-Tex jacket on and zipped up. <laughs> All of our butts look amazing. Except mine, which is hidden underneath my three-quarter length Gore-Tex jacket. You all feel suspiciously well supported. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the so, stitching on the gussets is really oh, something right. else. Like under I need to come up with movement. I need to yeah. come up with a name for this con for this company. Uh, you arrive at what used to be a park in which the Department of Defense sold off to a private owner because they've been selling off a lot of their coastal properties recently. All right. Sure, it's nothing. Um, <laughs> Seven years of budget cuts. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. All right. yeah. Uh, there is a car parked here as well. And this makes sense to you because somebody told you to meet them there. Yeah. Give me a spot hidden roll. All of us are just in. If you if you care to look at this car at all. Oh, oh, oh. That's I, the best possible roll. I rolled a one. This I car has not moved in about three weeks, four weeks, maybe. Yeah, I, I, I passed by like yeah, well, I mean I don't think any roll is gonna get better than Beach's. <laughs> I pass as well. Yeah. Um I don't know what exactly this looks like, but I don't have to because all I can do is just tell you what the meaning is. Yeah. Um, whatever would look like, it would look like if you parked a car on the beach, near the beach, in coastal southwestern Canada for a month. Yeah. yeah. This is what it looks like, right? A little Maybe. bit of mildew, some rust. Covered yeah. in bird shit. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, the seals yeah. Deflating tires. Yeah. Well, uh, well, after a month. But yeah. sunk deep enough in the sand that it's been yeah. there quite some time. Yeah. yeah, like it's displaced the gravel. Yeah. Like yeah. The, it's right down on the beach. Well, not not right down on the beach. This is, uh, you're pulling up to a, uh, essentially, this is a, uh, what you would expect for a parking lot for a park. Yeah. Sure. Okay. okay you know where okay. they have like the posts? Yeah. yeah. I, I feel you. Yeah. But like. But, but this is now a private residence or a private property at least. And there are signs to that effect when you enter it. Okay. It says park now private um it's a nice car though it looks expensive okay so there's not a there's not like a driveway this is sort of a public street or this is the end of a, of a private driveway this is the end of a private driveway okay. this would have been the parking lot for a um a municipal or in this case like a a weird uh government owned property sure that for all intents and purposes is a park right okay but is not owned by the local municipality. I don't know what that would actually be, but I don't have to, again, because this is a game and I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nailed um, it, I get it. Yeah. Uh, An ambiguous space. Mm -hmm. And it's the kind of car that says, uh, you know, charcoal, gray, kind of featureless, no badges. You know, it says, Lord Vader, your shuttle has arrived. Right. Ah, perfect. Okay. Right, so it's like an indistinguishable Mercedes of some make. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If you looked at it and you knew cars, you'd be like, huh. All right. And if you looked at it and didn't know about cars, you would not see it. Mm -hmm. I know what it is. Okay. <laughs> I rolled a three. Stop wasting all your good rolls. I rolled a three. So I know what kind of car it is. It'd be time to be safe and you'd be like, I fail. And it's the kind of car that somebody who either works for the person who owns this place or someone who owns this place would definitely own. Mm -hmm. The yeah. type of car you don't drive yourself? Yeah. <laughs> but it's been here for a while. Yep. Mm -hmm. Weird. Uh, there's a path. Sure. Let's go. Following the path. Okay. Right. I mean, I got an invitation, so I mean, yeah. we're all here together. We can all yeah. get on the class action lawsuit if that's what's actually <laughs> happening. Hey, what's up, everybody? We're down here. We're at the beach. We're checking out this path. By the way, if you like what we're wearing, use our promo code hashtag Comrade Frankie. You get a sweet deal on this camo as well. Anyways, we can't wait to see what's the end of this path. Let's check it out together. Are you wearing night night camo? Like, is that what it is? It's just There's blacks like, and grays. It's like this weird flecked pattern of like. Um, Neon, lime, green, and orange. Oh, I'm told okay. that's what ghosts see in. Okay. And that's how you disrupt their sight. Neat. All right. Yeah, it's not. It like I know you can see me because mm -hmm. we're both alive, but ghosts can't. It's very nicely tailored. Okay. Right, like it fits just like, like in a way you, that makes me jealous. <laughs> like you pull it off. <laughs> Many years ago, we went to a very fine clothing store in a mall in Vancouver. Oh yeah. yeah and yeah, I yeah. remember the the. Uh, the woman doing sales did an amazing job because I was like, I want to try on this jacket. And she's like, now normally, you know, the, this hasn't been hemmed yet, so we'll need to like measure your shoulders and measure the sleeves and then put it on. And she just slips it over my shoulders and says, oh. 
And I'm like, wow, you're good. <laughs> Was that like a twelve hundred dollar jacket? Yeah, or something like yeah, that? and I really appreciated the fact that you were like, "We have to go to lunch now." <laughs> oh yeah, I, pulled... I think you saw the expression on my face when I looked at the tag. Yeah, <laughs> and I suddenly, I suddenly, Trent, this is time out. I suddenly became Cameron's like shitty girlfriend, and I was like, "Honey, we have to go for lunch because I'm hungry and I'm bored." <laughs> yeah, and you like, because I was like, "Well, I can't afford this." But can I not afford this? Yeah, yeah, now that I put it on, I can't afford to not have it. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, so, I transformed into the fairy yeah. of, of uh, responsible spending and removed yeah, Sir. Like, was it from Duns or something like that? No, Brooks it was. Brown? I don't know. Uh, no, it was a European named store. It was very um, expensive. But yeah, it was like the, the immaculate read on the situation was nice. Yeah. Anywho, back into the game. Yep. Uh, ba 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 ba. The path ends and you arrive at like this, what looks like a complex of half-finished um, uh, concrete structures. And uh, some of them are roofed and some of them aren't and there's a lot of like stairwells with railings and some of them have little chains with like signs hanging from them that says danger. Uh, and it is a little disorienting. Awesome. I do um, a very slow B-roll pan to catch all this ambiance. Okay. And as I do a very slow pan with my phone in Ooh, the, the app. app. <laughs> um, you find where it wants you to go. I point in <laughs> front of his camera. That way. Oh, nice. <laughs> that yeah, way, Frankie. I, I frame it. Nice. All right. Pardon me. <sighs> Mm, is this where you, typically you go to to sign up for a class action lawsuit? Not really, no. Well, I'm glad we're all here. <laughs> all right. You uh, follow the path that the app seems to be leading for you. And um, the app is showing you uh, kind of like, you know, the, this. it's highlighting a path for you to follow. And you follow it down like a, a, a stairwell that when you look at it looks a bit more recently used than anywhere else. Um, maybe it's been polished, let's say. Mm. Like the concrete is not raw and finished, it's now got like a little bit of like finishing to it. Slightly less uh, uh, plant life growing on it because people have kicked it back a bit. Yeah. And yeah, no um, leaves, mm -hmm. anything piles. You know. it look, yeah, it looks a bit better maintained. Um, but give me a, do you just have spot? I always forget how this works. Uh, it would be, um, spot hidden is here. This is a perception yeah. check as opposed to like a, a deliberately look for sneaky things check? Yeah, it's just like a... Actually, idea works for this, I idea? think. Okay. You have the idea to do this rather than you notice this. I pass. Anyone else want to roll? Well, it, you're the only one with the app. Yeah, so yeah, unless yeah. any of you yeah. have downloaded it again. I wouldn't have, I, I wouldn't have at this point. No. Okay. Do we, we get service out here though, right? Yes. Okay. Um, it might be the one where you get like a notification pops up that says, congratulations on entering the United States. Yeah. Oh, the Jesus. ones that we occasionally get. Yeah, this yeah, is a Victoria yeah, yeah. thing, but if you go down to the beach sometimes, the nearest uh, cell phone tower will be an American one yeah. across the water. And all of so, a sudden you get long distance. Yeah. yeah, randomly you're like, oh, I guess I get $17 on my phone this month for no reason for going to the beach. Yeah. Anywho. You look up, it occurs to you, well, gamers never look up. Let's look up. And the sky is black. In the app? Yes. Like at the end of your dream. I'm taken aback by this a bit. Mm -hmm. I probably stop in the middle of the caravan here, and mm -hmm. Frankie probably walks into me or something. Yeah, you know, why'd you stop? Uh... Show him the screen. Probably. Oh, cool. I get in there with the phone. I was like, oh man, they've really pushed the update, the latest one here. Look at that spooky atmosphere. The sky's like an abyss. Wow. I'm panning around. Um, in my dream, mm -hmm. I was seeing the stars wipe to white, right? Yes. I was watching them move and just kind of fill yeah. forever. Okay. You, yeah. It's like they filled all sight lines in yeah. the sky. Okay. Mm -hmm. As. I don't know what I don't know how you interpreted if that. If you had dream. that long exposure over time, you would eventually they would all fill. Exactly. Yeah. Those are the words I was looking for. Long mm. exposure. Yeah. 
This is like an eons long exposure okay. mm -hmm. that you saw. But yeah, I'm showing it to everyone. Like, mm. this mean anything to you too? No. no. But isn't it like? Don't shouldn't there normally be somebody walking a dog around here? Now says private property. And if there's one thing Victorians <laughs> care about, is yeah. private property. I'm I'm vaguely unsettled because I know okay. many outdoor spaces mm -hmm. as somebody who runs and does exercises and and you know typically you know you don't often find big empty abandoned outdoor spaces like this people tend to fill them people tend mm. to use them yeah. even if it's not strictly allowed and actually this was one of those spaces that maybe like you know the uh, was it the souk potholes yeah mm. kind of analogous to that where people would go out and like have a picnic here and like teenagers would come out and explore sure Right? Mm -hmm. that, yeah, that kind of thing. And that has fallen off the map completely. No rowdy teens around here? Mm -hmm. Doing. Huh. Not even on Halloween? Even though it says private property? No, it's 2022. We've had weed for a long time, and they're all doing that to their enjoyment, I guess. But you're still got to be 19? Yeah. Is that the new law? Yeah, that definitely keeps weed uh, out of the teens' hands. Oh, they're definitely going out to smoke weed and mm -hmm. drink. Mm -hmm. In yeah, it's places like, like this. Yeah, so it's, it's like how point. I didn't have any shitty beer until I was 19. Right. Yes, absolutely. Right? So, fair. yeah, can I be a little disturbed that I don't hear any rowdy teens partying? Absolutely. In a perfectly good place to party? Absolutely. Huh. Does um, it seem unnaturally quiet? It's not, like, quiet. You hear the crashing of the waves, and, like, the recent storm was not kind to this place. It feels like the... Um, it occurs to you that maybe the government sold this because of increasing water erosion. Mm. Um, and like, maybe the storms are getting worse. Maybe the water is getting a little bit higher. Maybe they no longer see this as property that they really need to hang on to for strategic purposes. Mm. Um, anyway, the, the, some of these places are in far worse repair than others. Some of them have like collapsed a bit, a little bit. Um, like the, the uh, Maybe some frost heaves have broken the concrete up. Mm -hmm. And some of them are just like splayed open. And um, there are places where like jagged, like uh, whatever is steel reinforced concrete, the steel Rebar. part is like poking out yeah. at kind of weird angles. Mm -hmm. mm. And um, Peter, give me an idea roll. Ooh. I uh, made it by three. The silhouettes wow. of these um, of these turned out blockhouses and bunkers reminds you of the silhouette made by the water reaching up into the sky. I pull out my phone. Yeah. I go to the app store and I download the app. Okay. Oh, oh, decisive. Yeah. yeah. What you doing, buddy? I, I'm downloading the app again. I got us that this is really familiar. Like it's really reminding me of something. And Norman's been like shooting his phone all over the place, and i got to see if something actually shows up here or not. Because mm. it's too weird that I recognize this, even though I've never been out here before. Right. App installs. I wave my phone around the bunkers. Mm -hmm. uh, the image you get through your phone, there's, um, there's a compass, let's say, okay. when you have this thing opened. Mm -hmm. And for you, the compass, when you have it out, is flat. Oh. Right. Like it's, not, it's not showing me N and then like west it's to not, the side. It's, it's not turning like this. Yeah. It's... So I can see all four cardinal directions. Yeah. It's like you're looking at it from above, above. when you hold it out. I see. If Maybe... Pan it... off of it and pan um, away, does it, it change? It doesn't. Maybe lay your phone flat. Okay. Actually, I'm going to look up. Oh. As you hit the, the zenith. And bring it back down. Huh. Maybe it's a bug. Probably. Do you have a compass on yours? Yeah, you do. Oh, I do. Let's say you have always had. Oh, yours okay. is behaving normally. Like, mine, no matter where I go, is just mm -hmm. like a normal compass. But it doesn't show you, like, all four directions at the same time? No. Because mine's doing that, right? You can see that, right? It's not just me imagining that. Mm. I, uh, 
It isn't just me imagining that. My phone mm. is showing me. No, it's objectively true, what you're doing. Um, I put my hand in front of the camera in the phone. Just my hand. It's fine. OK. Um, could I, could I do like a, a thing? Yeah, totally. So while they're doing that, I'm going to like jump into a building and be like, yeah! <laughs> and, and I'm just like, this is Frankie Ghost Watch. I cleared this building. I think we're good. Nothing found yet. They're investigating. Not afraid of no ghosts. Not afraid this time. Frankie. Brave Frankie. Hashtag Brave Frankie chat. I pan over to Frankie. Frankie, what the hell are you doing? Just showing, showing the goats who's boss. We look good, we feel good, we're gonna take it down. Am I seeing anything? Just him in a, in a weird bunker? That, yeah, yeah, it's, the edge detection really likes his camis. Mm. I, um, I leave the app, go to Maps, mm -hmm. and I use Maps, actually I go to the Compass app that's on the phone. Right. Compass app is acting normally. Yeah. I go back to the Cal mm -hmm. uh, Cthulhu app, and it's flat. Yeah. It seems like it's got like some kind of weird transform on it. Yeah. It's flat unless you have it. Unless I have it aimed straight up in the air, or I'm assuming straight down at the ground? Yep. Yeah. It will also be like, eh, I Inverted. guess you want to look at it from underneath? Yeah. Um, anyway, there's that. You continue to follow the path? Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it leads you down a flight of stairs into a long uh, concrete hallway. So we're underground now? Yeah. Okay. Still going out towards the ocean. Cool. But, you know, you're not overhanging water at Covered? all. Covered? Yes. Okay. Like uh, the, Yes, Thank you. actually. Ooh. So in good repair, relatively. Yes. Okay. Huh. Um, and at the end of the hallway is a heavy steel door. Uh. There's like, there's functioning drains in here, it occurs to you. Otherwise, yeah. this would fill up with water. Yeah, 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 it's draining correctly. It seems to be in good repair. I, it's very it's important well to me that I walk at the front and I have the camera panned in such a way that we're like in a flying V formation going down this hallway. Mm -hmm. Talking to chat about like, we found this crazy hallway. It's looking amazing. Look at this place. Look at the ambiance in this place. Not afraid. Hashtag not afraid. Remember, promo code, Comrade Frankie. Is this a long hallway? It's longish. It's, so it's it's like... 20 meters, 15 meters. Yeah, about that. Okay. Yeah. And it's, um, but it's all evenly lit. Mm hmm And, like, there's little pot lights in the ceiling. Yeah. You can get, or, or hanging, like, oh, hanging lights. Interesting. Say. Okay. And then also, um, how wide is this hallway? We can walk, like, four abreast? Uh, no. Two abreast? Yeah. Kind of. Okay. I see. So we're kind of, like, diamond formation. Yeah, I was hoping, I was hoping for that, like, yeah, that, yeah. that V formation. I feel, yeah. So there's only the one door at the end. Yes. And does it take up the whole length of the hallway, too? Yes. I'm it's, just trying to build a picture. Yeah, 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 no. It's, 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 it's like a polished steel door. Wow. Like you would find in a, uh, what you imagine a bank vault door would look like. Okay. Oh. Right, or a secure door. Heavy duty. I walk up to the door. And okay. And look for a button for a doorbell or some sort of pad that I can touch to activate. So now that I'm totally not afraid, mm -hmm. I'm going to reposition myself at the back of the group only because I can get a really good angle of myself and them doing it. Not because I'm afraid at all. Right. But if the door opens and something were to grab anybody, I'll be the furthest away from the door. Again, mostly just for the shot. OK. I think you're yeah. going for the OK, you're going looking. first. I'm looking for a pad to activate uh, uh, some sort of like had to activate some sort of uh... Well, be can I take an experimental sniff of the air and see if there's any weed down here? <laughs> Doesn't smell like it. How unusual for a Halloween night. Yeah. Also for a random public corridor like this hidden away. To not have like anybody sleeping in here, any encampments, mm -hmm. just like totally empty and clean and well maintained. Or beer yeah, bottles. I mean, this is a little out of the way. C there's no cigarette butts. Huh. Um, it 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 feels suspiciously abandoned. Weird. But inhabited, if that makes any sense. Like there is a um. Maybe there's a security patrol that comes through here and chases people away. Huh. Any any luck with a button or something? I don't. On that? I don't like a looking for like anything that looks like an, uh, like an intercom do, do or, a use the, or a button. Do you scan it with the app? I'm just looking with my face. I'm scanning the whole thing. With yeah. The app. Uh, when you get near, there's like a um, there's a heavy lock, yeah. like a magnetic lock and a keypad. And when you move your phone near it, it just goes, or thud, right? Like the the magnetic lock, like 
and disengages. Latches. And yeah, I hear it. And then I'm the green light comes on. I see. Wow. Okay. So you unlocked it with your phone, essentially. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is so cool. We're going in, chat. And it like swings. You'd want it to swing a jar outward. I think towards us from a from an installation like that you want yeah public buildings you want them to be able to evacuate out yes yeah so yeah so it, it, it neutral out yeah it, I guess yeah um, yeah it swings open okay what do we see darkness <laughs> and then um, uh, lights flicker on uh, like okay. you, yeah basically yes. and in the first flicker. Give me sand rolls. Oh. <laughs> now I am, I am looking through the selfie camera ah. one thing for the shots. Mm -hmm. Does that change anything or no? Well, you'll have to roll sand. Shoot. Okay. Remind I... me how how this works again. Roll below your sand score. Nope. nope. I succeeded. Pass. I have a forty nine. Mm -hmm. I rolled a oh. fifty one. Okay, oh, no. so okay. Wait, no, I failed. I mm -hmm. rolled higher than. Myself. Okay, so pass. Yeah. Fail. 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 In the first flicker of the lights, it looks to you as if the interior is ruined and filled with like weeds and uh, brackish water, and like maybe a tree has collapsed through the ceiling, and uh, there's just like kind of trashed furniture on the inside and then the lights like flicker off and on again and it's clean and white and pristine and normal like it's all polished smooth polished concrete um like it was flooded before well it looks like it's it's been that like almost, like abandoned right yeah, like mm -hmm. it, was abandoned it looks like time. it was abandoned and ruined mm -hmm. and then it when the lights come on you're like Oh, it's not actually abandoned and ruined. So we get like a split, like 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 a quarter second of this place is trashed, mm -hmm. but then the lights come on properly, mm -hmm. and it's like, oh, it's fine. So it's just we're like, Bleh. so I'm gonna whip my head over my shoulder. Yeah, d and what you saw in the app was, um... well, Frankie didn't have the app. Yeah, I passed the sanity check, and I was yeah, looking for the camera. Yeah, but you were looking. Like, were, was well, I was your back like to this. it? This, yeah, my back was to yeah, it. Yeah, I, 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 I thought yeah. that's what you were communicating yeah. to me. Yeah. Um, in the app, for a moment, it looked like you saw a man suspended upside down in the middle of the room in the background, like standing on the ceiling. Cool. I'm gonna whip my head around and just be like, "Do I see that?" No. It's gone now that the yeah. the, the the lights are properly on. But uh, in front of you is an entranceway. And then uh, a narrow hallway in expanding into a larger room. Is this feeling like a, a facility, a warehouse, or is it more like a home now? It looks like a home to you. There is like a mud room, which is the entryway. Um, the lighting is coming up from these little gutters along the side of the hallway. And if you want to do a knowledge roll, or I can just tell you because this is actually not really an important thing, sometimes bunkers have what is called a grenade sump. Where if somebody throws a grenade into the bunker, you kick it into this gutter along the edge of the room, and it falls into there, and then it explodes, and you probably only have your ears blown out. Ah, rather right. than yeah. Hmm. And, and all your bits they have recessed out. all the lighting into there. Well, that's clever. Neat idea. So yeah. it, it gives us like nice diffuse warm light. Mm -hmm. Ooh, chat! You see that? Whoa, that was really interesting. Got some like cool effects going out. Man, they're going all out for this finale. Well, let's head on in and see what it's like. Remember, hashtag not afraid. <sighs> Did everybody at home roll a sand check too? <laughs> Everyone currently watching no the live stream. <laughs> um, so yeah. there's like who knows what they saw. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm walking forward, phone in. Like, mm, am I seeing anything? Uh, nothing that is not already highlighted for, or nothing that you don't see with your own eyes. What and then I trip your, over a chair. <laughs> what happens as your sanity decreases? You become more vulnerable to further sand loss. Oh, okay. Does it hurt? Or it's like, ugh, unsettled no, 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 for this, a second? You're, you're, it, the, the effects can be varied. Okay. Think of sand loss as um, mental health points. Okay. And when you lose them all, you become an NPC and you give your character sheet to me. Oh. All right. Um, there's also other pressures on your sand. For example, if you're 
Cthulhu Mythos score gets high, your SAN score can never be higher than 99 minus your Cthulhu Mythos. Mm. So if you have a 60 Cthulhu Mythos skill score, your SAN can never be higher than 40. Or, sorry, 39. Because you can get SAN back. Mm -hmm. But, like, yeah. that that's the ceiling sure. for your SAN. Interesting. Um, but the interior of the space looks like a very uh, tastefully decorated... Um, uh, modern concrete house, like the kind an architect would design for themselves, right? Like a very like precise Japanese architect would look at this place and go, not bad, not bad at all, right? Nice. Okay. All right. Um, there is a main central room with a bed that is um, suspended from the wall, it looks like it's floating off of the wall. Yes. Um, it has, you know, a thick duvet on it. Um, there is a desk that is like black and featureless, and probably has like drawers inset into it, but otherwise just has a computer on top of it, um, or a computer monitor on top of it. And then there's like a server rack and a bookshelf with actual paper books on it, which are becoming harder to get. Hello? As everything digitizes, yeah. I'm gonna just gonna, like, like, now we're clearly in someone's house. <laughs> yeah. Hello. I'm here to explore, but like, there's some people watching right now. We can't, you know, just like trespass I mean, unless this is all part of the event. Whoa. Weren't you meeting someone? Yeah. yeah. And there's nobody here to meet us, but your phone let us in. I imagine my phone would have let us in too, because it's all the same thing. But there's nobody here to mm -hmm. talk to us at all. Is, are there any other doors yeah, or passageways or uh, stairs? Yeah, at the back there is a um, a hallway leading off. And then in the middle of the room is a hole. In the it's middle of the room through the hallway? No, no, no. In oh. the middle of this room. Right. Right. It, it looks like a very modern home, like capital M modern home with a hole in the middle. Does this remind me of my dream of being in a white circle with a black it hole in the center? It does, in Ooh. fact. Um, I am, uh, my jimmies are rustled. Yeah. Even and with all the gussets. There is like a, um, <laughs> also there's there's like a big window on one side that looks like might have had at one point the intention for a gun to poke out of it. Like a very big cannon to poke out of it. But now it just overlooks the sea. Yeah, and it's set with like glass. It's mm -hmm. just all glassed in. And the sound in here is dead. Like, it's just quiet in here. You can't even hear the sea? No. Hmm. Um, and then against one wall is a very, like, is an enormous um, uh, uh, display screen that's currently inactive. And against the other wall, there is, like, it's featureless except for a crossed, uh, like, basket-hilted saber and a dirk. Hmm. Um... Didn't that, didn't that guy we looked up, George, wasn't he good at saber? Yeah. I mean, there's a saber. Sure. Didn't, weren't, didn't you get called here by someone with the same last name? Yes, well, saying that they represented George McKay, and I was like, all right, that's, that's fine. Well, we're not completely off base then. Mm -hmm. well, I wouldn't think so. I mean, but there's no nameplate. There's no nameplate on the door. There's nothing in here saying who this place belongs to. I mean, pan around the room with the app, looking mm -hmm. at everything. I don't see. Why don't you text them back and ask them if they're going to show up? That is remarkably <laughs> pragmatic. <laughs> pragmatic. Oh my God. All right. You bring up your phone and bring up the text. Yeah. And you have no signal in here, but it's trying to connect to a different cell phone antenna, like. It, it seems to be trying to connect to something else, right. but it doesn't know the protocol for it. Okay. I guess but I'm this place is, now. Yeah. yeah, like you would notice this yeah, as, yeah, if yeah. you're live streaming. It would just be like you come in and all of a sudden, yeah, boop, signal like a drops Faraday off. Cage kind yeah, of thing. Um, I open my Wi-Fi. Yeah. Are there uh, any wi Is there any Wi-Fi? Anything? Any base stations in here at all that I can see? Yes, there's one that you can connect to. What's it's it just called? called Blockhouse. That's a dumb idea. Click. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm doing that too. Unsecured Wi-Fi, and I connect to it, no problem, no passwords, nothing. Yeah. Okay. It it occurs to you maybe this is only accessible from in here. It makes a lot of sense, actually. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to stream from the Wi-Fi. I don't know how good the connection is. I don't want drop frames. Really? Fair. You. 
I feel like you'd be like, we're back! Oh, yeah, right. you, 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 try, you walk right? through the door and the signal drops. You're like, uh, 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 <laughs> all right, never mind, never mind, never mind. Like, oh, no, no, I just want to, like, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. that would be a tremendous experience for your viewers. One other detail. Oh. Um, <laughs> Actually, that's a good call. That's a good call. Above the hole in the floor is a, um, like, a scaffold Ooh. that appears to be on some kind of, like, motorized um, carriage descending huh. from the ceiling. Ah. How, how big is this hole? It's about five feet wide. Oh, okay. Can we see down to the bottom of the hole? Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's significantly danker than the rest of the place, mm. right? Um, it's it's damp. There's like cold air emerging from it, and like the smell of the ocean. Hmm. Weird. Um, You'd think they'd cover that. Yeah, kind of like the danger hole in the middle of the room. Did you say there was a laptop on the desk? Oh, uh, there's there's a computer, like there's a monitor, basically. There is whatever futuristic like computer access here. Right, I press like space or whatever oh. to see if like a login screen with a name shows up. Yep, oh. it brings up actually like a um, like a Unix interface, like just like a text interface, like a command prompt. So no, no George, like login. George's screen. PC. All right, yeah. you know what? I'm going to computer use the hell out of this thing. All right. Uh oh. Rolled a 24 on 71. Oh, wow. So, wow. okay, you find. It's Unix, I know this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you find several commands that you can access All right. uh, in relative to home automation. Some are like lights, there's a thermostat control here, there is one that controls what you assume to be there's a command for screen. Yep. There's a command for descent. Ah, okay. Um, all right, well, let's, uh, let's all, like, lights, lights up, all lights up. Okay. It brings up several other, uh, lighting systems, and the temperature, the color temperature ramps up. It goes from kind of, like, this pleasant orange to a very, like, harsh, bright white. We're in daytime now. Okay. That, it thinks we're in daytime. Mm -hmm. Great. All right. Uh, screen. Um, there are two modes the screen operates in. One is a static picture, and the other one is a video. Static picture. Uh, it brings up like um, uh, like a chooser. No, no. It it there's um, a series of images that it's programmed to cycle between. Okay. Kind of slowly. The first one um, depicts uh, a woman in a red dress and like a gray overcoat. Standing in like a um, in a concrete hallway, what looks like underground, and she has this kind of like look of concern on her face, and she's holding her hand like here, like and near her stomach or near yeah, her? like near her stomach. Okay, like it's it's this troubled like defensive look, and behind her are like all of these figures in like monochromic monochromic outfits, like orange or, or khaki, and. They're all like very sullen looking and wandering in these hallways. And it looks a bit like maybe this is an Escher drawing mm. because there are like alcoves set into certain hallways um, with people like standing in them. And it occurs to you that maybe those are supposed to be like phone booths, but there's no phones in them. Mm. And there are turnstiles and, and like um, uh, uh, rails and. This is like a, uh, I have very high photography. Can I roll to see if this is a picture picture or? Oh, or? yeah, actually, if you roll photography, you might be able to get this with a penalty. In the meantime, I'm Maybe. like holding my phone up to the um, images that are. Hmm. I Chris. rolled a 39 out of 95. Um, so I passed by almost 60. This is, uh, you recognize this painting. This oh, is George painting. Tooker's The Subway. Oh, okay. And you would get that as well. Mm. It would just like Google image reverse search this oh, okay. and recognize that this is a painting by an American painter called George Tooker and it's called The Subway. Mm. I, I like Anything that, in the app? I like right. that you both would, would have said, oh, this is, and you'd both say it at the same time, but mm. you knew it and, <laughs> and you had to see it on the phone. It's mm -hmm. real good. Uh, the painting cycles and brings up a picture of a, um, a, a small building, like a chapel. Mm. Um, set against an orange sky, and the building is made out of like this yellowish or orange uh, stone, and its interior is illuminated all in blue because one of its faces is missing, and through one of the windows you see a night sky, 
Hmm. And it's covered in like these blood red um, fungal vines. Reverse image. Yeah. yeah. One. Pass. Uh, this is a Bixinski painting. Uh, it's untitled, but it is cataloged as AA78. It was from 1978. Do you properly pronounce that name and I mispronounce the name? Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, it cycles again, uh, this time to what is clearly a much older painting, uh, showing like this landscape covered in like human figures and there are fires burning and it looks very medieval to you. Um, Ooh, pass. Uh, I get, uh, that way. Bruegel's The Triumph of Death. So at some point, uh, I've reconnected to the Wi-Fi. I've mm -hmm. let the people know, even after we dropped out, they're like, hey, we're back. Yeah. Uh, and now I'm hoping to impress them with my knowledge of paintings while yeah, I mean, going you, on there. You, you, you have a fine arts degree. You were likely in art history courses. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, Bachelor of Fine Arts is my education. Mm -hmm. So it's like kind of talking about stuff like that. Like, I wonder what the clues are in these paintings. Ah, uh, yes. And then talking about this stuff. OK. So um, then is it telling us anything, like the this specific, like all of these what do they have in common? Yeah, do they have anything in common or are they just like nice paintings? Let me do an idea roll. Fail. <laughs> the, they're all like kind of unsettling paintings. They're atmospheric. Yep. Yeah, the, they're atmospheric, yeah. basically. It's um, like it's the kind you of don't thing know you, if there's a, you wouldn't want in your house. Eh, I mean, well, it depends they're, on the house. It can be real fancy. Yeah, they're, they're very technically adept paintings. Okay. Very, um, very famous ones in some cases. Uh, it cycles again, and this time it shows a photograph um, that won a couple of awards a couple of years ago of a, uh, and this one is fictional, so don't go looking for this, this one, but it is uh, a photo you recognize of the Lake Baikal fire, um, which was a fire that, a forest, a, cat, a, a colossal forest fire that burned for months and months and months, and it is dominated, the, the photograph is dominated by this enormous pyrocumulus cloud hmm. that's generating like its own lightning. Okay. And that was actually what was responsible for extinguishing the fire, was that it got so large that it generated its own weather systems that eventually extinguished it. Wow. Holy moly. And that, one, that, that photo won a bunch of awards and really garnered a lot of public attention. OK. Huh. Are there more, are there more uh, pictures, any of note? Uh, I mean. A lot of similar things. Just kind of like, sure. like the same whoever, whoever programmed this was a fan of Bixinski, a fan of like um, uh, Brain. Why the 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 painter who did all the like the 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 hellscapes, you know, the Garden of Good and Evil. Bosch. Bosch. Bosch yeah. Right, that kind of thing. Okay. I feel uh, like something adjacent to one of those would be hanging up at Norman's work. Mm. Okay. So then I'll be like uh, at this point, it's like. If we're done looking at pictures, we can play a video too. Okay. Um, the video is a, um, uh, the video you bring up is a video of the room. And it is a time lapse picture. And in it, you see the room and uh, there's just like a smear of, of a person's form throughout the room. And it looks on one hand kind of like a worm and on the other hand, kind of like cobwebs smeared across it. And then it um, coalesces with density and higher resolution in the places where this figure came to rest for periods of time. And one of them is at the computer. And you can see that like there's definition of shoulders and maybe a bit of a face of somebody working at the computer. And then there is like a, um, a figure asleep in the bed as well and suspended in the frame above the hole, you see one, the same figure. And this time they are still for long enough that you can resolve their face. And it's George's face, the face that you recognize from the Corbett house. Same eyes? Same eyes. Is he hanging upside down? Yes. What, like a bat? A little bit? From the but he's Yeah, but he's looking, from his perspective, looking up from yours looking down. And um, the hole in the middle of the room is not a hole here. It is um, filled with black water that is um, so perfectly controlled that it actually forms a meniscus. Ugh. 
and it looks reflective. What's in the reflection? The room, the same blur. Like if you ever, there, there's a, a famous photograph series that a uh, Russian photographer did in, I think in Leningrad, where they did long exposure photographs of like uh, subway stations. And it's just like ghosts and you can see the hands mm -hmm. along the railings. Mm -hmm. Kind of like that. The thing that you're not familiar with, it's a lot like that. Mm. <laughs> hmm. huh. I can picture it in my mind. Mm -hmm. Hey. Screen off. Yeah. Hey, what up? It's your boy, Frankie. Things are getting a little bit weird here. Remember that, that, that thing we thought we saw on the camera? Well, there it is in the video. Except now there's a danger hole. The important thing is that I'm not afraid. It's your boy, Frankie, bravely going down on this spoop. This spoopy day, this Halloween, bringing you that content you love. I don't have to go down the hole, do I? Can, I'm just going to lean in and be like, hey, no matter what your chiropractor tells you, hanging upside down is not good for your back. That too. Fitness tips. Um, and just before the screen goes off, um, there is also a lot of like the, um, the frame empty. And there seems to be a weird density belch. Uh, very atmospheric, Cameron. Um, around the hole. Density? Of, yeah. It's like of, movement? Yeah, but like... A fullness. A fullness, like whoever, whatever this motion, or whatever this, this time lapse is, they spent a lot of time... Um, around the hole. Around the hole, and it looks to you if you unfocus your eyes just right, like they are um, on their side or on their back. Um, maybe emerging from it, like they had just crawled out of it and were resting. Hmm. Hmm. And they, they are in that space for all time, it seems to you, like hanging from this thing for all time, in this depiction of it. Uh, where in the room was the video shot from? Is there like... A from the frame. There's a, you get the impression that there is a camera in this frame. Okay. Is it recording us now? Give me a spot hidden roll. Uh, I got 44 out of 75, so pass by 30. You are beginning to detect your presence in the video. Just the barest hint of it. Okay, so I have not turned the screen off yet. Okay, yeah. yes, but if you want to turn it off now. Yeah. Like, I, sorry, people were still looking at it. Yeah, sure. exactly. Um, Wait, 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 because that means if we're showing up now based on the time it was going, that means the activity was happening in the room? Not long ago. Like, was there a time Was there a time when the lights went on or something, when we turned all that on? What is happening in this video? I'm saying this out loud. Yeah, yeah. Like, the video seems to be in perpetual twilight. Like, the, the time when it's in the bed, that figure is dark. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when, when they're working at the computer, you know, you see like a shadow on the wall, like maybe it was semi-light then. And there are other times when there's a bit of density in front of the window, like they stood in front of the window for so a long time. So what would be like is if when we focus in, any one person focuses in on a certain area of the video, the lighting is appropriate for what might be going on at the mm -hmm. time that something would be happening there. But yes, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. And like the overall average would be of twilight. Yeah. But like this is maybe not necessarily just a, st like a, like a, like a, like a long video that somebody has sped up. Like it's not like a speed ramp. It, this is like some sort of composite where it's taking... Every frame. Layering, yeah. yeah. I, I have an idea. Uh-huh. I'm gonna hold my phone over the hole and ask chat what they see. I'm sure, why not get them involved? Yeah. Because that way we don't have to look at it and they can just tell us what we see. Okay. I'm gonna get down on my hands and knees. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to slowly crawl up to it. And while I'm doing this, I'm like, Hey, what's up, Chad? It's Frankie. I need your help right now. Things are getting a little bit weird, and I need you to tell me what you see down the hole. I love you. I trust you. And I'm going to hold my hand over the edge carefully. Okay. I'm going to hold it there for like five or ten seconds. And I'm going to slowly bring it back, and I'm going to look at Chad. Lol, hey Frankie, we see your we see chat in it. We see we are so, we see your phone, we see chat. Hi chat. Ah! Ah 
Like there's a mirror down there? Oh, you guys totally got me. <laughs> yeah, woo! This is why we're not afraid. Hashtag Frankie. If you want to look good when you're also not afraid, hashtag Comrade Frankie with the sponsor affiliate code. Wait a minute. So, hold on. They're seeing themselves, so like there's a mirror at the bottom? I guess so. But there's, I don't see a mirror. It's a hole. So I guess there's a mirror at the bottom of the hole? I, I guess so. It'd I, have to be such a perfect mirror that it would have to reflect mm -hmm. back without losing any acuity. That's, yeah. Um, that's weird. So, so other than that, or when you put some, when you, when you, when you put something over the hole, the hole is a mirror. It's a perfect lens. Like it would have to be able to, it would have to, it would have to be able to show whatever is immediately above the hole. All right, I'm Which, gonna. If you're I'm, a giant thing of black liquid that we can't actually see because we're not over the hole, we're looking at the hole. But then, then, then it looks like black liquid in the video, right? It yeah. looks like an open hole in real life. Yeah. Um, sorry, there was the descent program? Yeah, I still haven't run that yet. Okay, there's also um, another program that is currently running that you're able to oh, okay. check in on. PS space AX, let's uh, see what's running. <laughs> uh, it is a, um, would it just be like a, a um, it's uploading something. Oh, is it? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, like the video uh, it's LSOF would show me what uh, show me all files that are currently being used by the system, and it should show me I think at the end what's actually being what's actually being uploaded. It it has a kind of a nondescript file name, but it's the 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 um. Uh, it looks like it's trying to push uh, an app out. Whoa. Oh. Oh. It's like building the latest version of the. Yeah, compiling something. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, and um, the, one other program is just called Pump. You said there's also a hallway around here, right? Yep. And before I do Descent or Pump, what's at the end of the hallway? Can I go explore that? Yes. At is the end of the hallway, you find the bathroom. And, and is the, it spooky? Is it a spooky bathroom? It doesn't look like a comfortable bathroom. <laughs> it's a deficiency bathroom. Yeah, kind of. It's like one of the ones with like a shower and then oh. just like a glass, like a glass wall. Is it like one of those one-piece units where it's like it's a toilet and bath and sink that is that's all made out of plastic that they have at Japanese business hotels that they just install into a place it's, that has it's actually, one drain. It's actually nicer than that, but the one drain part is more or less accurate. Okay. Right, like this occurs to you that this might have been like some kind of storage closet ah. before, but and then they had to like actually cut the plumbing into the concrete. Okay. Mm. Uh, but right. these places would have been wired for power like nobody's business. Right. Right. Absolutely. Like you, you can imagine the copper cable being like fist thick. And there's no, I wave my phone in the room, nothing of note. Not even the mirror. Yeah, it, it, there's no augmentation here. Right. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go. And then uh, there's also another room off to the side, which is a. Is it a galley? A mess? A kitchen? Yeah, a galley, I think. Galley? It's a very small little kitchen with like a kettle and a, and a stove and a fridge. What's in the fridge? Yeah. <sighs> You're gonna go We're in the somebody's, fridge? We're in somebody's house here. Yeah, but they're not here, but they invited us and they let us in because the, the phone let us in, so. and. I mean, Jessica, I, I guess. you know the smell coming from the fridge, mm -hmm. which is the smell that you encounter frequently when doing home checkups on people whose diets you are consulting on mm. after they have let all of the fruits and vegetables you suggest they buy uh, go mm. and after not having eaten them, which is like, you know, it's, it's like the, you know, the crisper full of liquefied lettuce Ugh. or kale. Wow. Right? Uh, it takes about a month hmm. for that. For that to happen fully. Is there anything else in the fridge or is all the food rotten? Uh, it's all like going or gone. Um, there's huh. some like prepared meals. That are also in the Yeah, food. like leftovers or it, or maybe something that was prepared in bulk and then set aside. Right. Like make like six meals and there's like um, uh, one of the, the door has like a flight of bottles of Soylent whatever. Kind right, of like, which is still okay, but like all the actual food is rotten. Yeah. Huh. 
Oh, what's that smell? Ugh, bad life choices. <sighs> That's weird, though. I go back to the computer because it's where I'm most comfortable. Mm. So he's been gone for a while. Because his car hadn't moved and all his food's bad. Mm -hmm. uh, there's there's a couple of like different seasonal coats. There's pairs of shoes in the entryway. All right, chat. So what we're figuring out here is black leather, brown leather, running shoes. This place has been abandoned. We're trying to figure out who the spoopsman is. All the clues are pointing to the computer in the hole. Norman's just like peering down the hole from different angles. Is there enough light to actually see anything down the hole? It looks like um, a very deep hole. If you want to do an idea roll, I can give you a sense of what this may have been used for. Uh, yeah, got that. Okay. Uh, this might lead to a the uh, the magazine, right? You wouldn't if you had a gun here. You would need someplace to store all the ammunition. Oh yeah. So maybe there was like a joist or an elevator in here at one point. Mm. I mean, we do know there's a um, something that, like a scaffold mm -hmm. above the hole, and there is a program called Descent. And pump. And there's pump as well. Um, we're next to the ocean, so maybe don't turn pump off. I'm, okay. Let's pump is currently off. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Unix commands generally have a man page, mm -hmm. which allows me to bring up a manual for how something works. Okay. Ooh. So if I go man pump and hit enter, does it bring up a man page or not? Uh, it seems to have been like very hastily coded. So there's no actual document. Like, no, it's, no, it's, it's the documentation. It just of, says to do. It, the documentation is turns pump on and off. All right. It's exactly the kind of thing that you would expect an engineer who has just been like, I don't know. Like, I'm writing my own programs. I don't need to document this yeah. stuff. I see. Okay. Like when you comment your own code. Yeah. And yeah. it's like, does this thing, obviously. So, or or uh, if you have the, you know, the documentation binder. Yeah. That's just full of like Comic Sans, like, or, mm. or 12 point courier. Yeah. yeah. Run command. Oh, Runs the command. All right. Like, yeah. Thanks. Man descent. Same um, thing? Uh, uh, lowers and raises the, um, the scaffold. The scaffold. OK. Oh, really, just nothing, all right. Um, and uh, it says raises scaffold after time interval. Oh. So you descend, you descend on, and then enter um, uh, a number in seconds. OK. And then it automatically retracts it after that point. So you want someone to stay up here so that we don't all get trapped down there. Well, I mean, I, yeah, I can manually control it, or I can say descent uh, you know, 30 or whatever, mm -hmm. and it would actually just send it down, and after 30 seconds, bring it back up. Mm -hmm. But you know, I mean, I don't want to get anyone trapped down in, sorry. I don't want to get anyone trapped down in the hole. Um, but like, we looked around. There's nobody here. But. I mean, I don't know what everything on the screen was about. Hang on, screen on, like screen video again. Mm -hmm. Are we showing up more prominently, or is it still very faint? It's very faint, but maybe it's getting a bit stronger. Like if you are, it's 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 the barest wisp of a of another presence that is starting to like appear, and hopefully that's you. Oh, okay. That would make sense if it was you. All right, um, screen off. Yeah. Is the scaffolding thing the size? It's the, is it the scaffolding the size of which a person is supposed to ride on this thing? Yes. Only one or? One. One. <sighs> I'll go down if we have to. Well, it's going to be like, I'm the smallest one. I. No offense, but maybe maybe we'll go with the smallest person first. If oh. you like. Why don't we send a camera down and then bring it back up? Oh, you're so much smarter than I am. Can it be yours? I'm really afraid of losing this thing. I spent a lot of money on it. Uh, I can't really afford to replace my phone right now, but okay, I guess. If this gets like eaten by a monster, though, I want a new iPhone. I'll hook you up. Okay. Yeah. All right, chat. So here's the plan. We're going to send Jessica's phone down the murder hole. Hashtag murder hole. And we're going to bring it back up at the video recording. And that way, if there's any ghosts down there, 
We're going to be fine. We're going to see them before we get down there. They won't trap us. We're not falling for this hashtag ghost ambush. How long do you want it down there for? Like a minute? Sure. Yeah, sure. Are right. you just like, okay, yeah, you figure out a way to attach it to the thing and, yeah. All right. I grab one of your spare gorilla pods. Sure. So is this, is the app running on the phone? Is that what's happening? The app's running on the phone? No, no this is just Jessica's phone, just the video. I'm just filming it. Okay. Mm. Um, cool. Okay, so you're able to like lower it down and it feels like a very, somebody spent a lot of money on this. It's very smooth. Mm. Like microprocessor being inserted into a motherboard in a factory. It doesn't make in, a lot of noise. Yeah, it's yeah. just like, shh, 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 shh. right? It's lowers down and after a minute lowers back up or whatever time interval you put it on. Um, what do we see on the phone? Yeah, let's all gather around the phone and then watch the video. The video on the phone shows a dark, uh, stained, water-stained room um, with like some brackish water at the bottom and a um, uh, uh, a drain, like a big, large drain, and. Um, the drain grating seems to be damaged or bent in some way. Um, but it, you, you can, in the video, you can hear the ocean from here. Huh. And um, give me a spot hidden roll. Oh, wow. Oh. I, I got the crit perfect. I got a one. No. Wow. Okay. Um, uh, at the bottom. Uh, in a dark, slimy puddle, mm -hmm. you see a crumpled human form, or what was once a crumpled human form, at the very least. It is difficult to fully make out in the camera video. Okay. It's like, oh, whoa, snap! Is that a person? Ah! Did we find a dead body? Ah! Chat, we found a dead body! Ah! Holy moly, this murder mystery is coming together! It wasn't supposed to be a murder mystery, it was supposed to be a class action lawsuit! Uh, oh. well, what do we do? Do we get him out of there? No. We call somebody this is, else. This is a puddle of a person. This is we go get the cops now kind of a thing. Like, we found a dead body. All With right. the spot hidden roll of one, you notice a lot of details about it. Okay. For example, um, their, their clothing is gone. They're naked. They're dead. They're a puddle. Uh, and, and this is not like, this is a skeleton. Like it's a bit stained and uh, like rotted almost, but what you know is going to bother you later, with like a certain kind of like sick finality, is the scrapes on the bones that occur to you are probably from teeth. It's a high resolution camera. Something was gnawing on it. Yeah. I think rats got to it too down there. It's been down there for a while. It's been nommed on. We need the police. We need the police. We need the police. We need the police. Holy moly. Your chat is filled with absolutely worthless to you heart emotes. Thank you, chat. Hashtag Frankie loves you. <laughs> Turns out the ironically named murder hole may have actually been a murder hole. We may have found a body. Holy moly, chat. Huh. Let's go get the cops. Hey, there Norman. Would be no other yeah. Identification. Oh, yeah. Norman, yeah. Before, can we send your phone down with the app running? Is there any way to record, set up a rig where we can record the screen of what your app is showing you? Could we stream what his show, uh, phone is showing us to our phones? Or like, something? Yeah. Or like have my phone running and then behind it, the phone we just sent down on the screen. Yeah. Recording it. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Let's, I okay. mean, pretty, willingly volunteer. Pretty jerry-rigged, but we could do this. Okay, so you're sending down your phone with the app running? Being recorded by... Aimed in the same direction. You're trying to catch okay. the mm -hmm. same thing. We want to see what his phone says without <laughs> sending ourselves down there. Yeah. Or not even... The app sees clearly in this space, almost. Um, around the drain in the middle, glowing blue 
is a circle. Kind of reminds you of the circle that was under the rug in the Corbett house. But this one is, um, if that was the metaphor, this is the meaning. Um, it's intricate in a way that makes you a little angry. And that's hard to really pin down. Uh, the um, There are, are uh, like um, racks down here, like shelving racks that mm -hmm. look like they would have had scallops in them for, or like scalloped racks for probably ammunition of some kind. Mm. Uh, and uh, the body is uh, laid out kind of like it uh, and fell. Ugh. Then got uh, chewed on. Mm -hmm. Give me an idea roll. Yeah. This is like roll looking at this footage. Fail. Uh, I did not get that one. Nice. Goodbye. Nailed, <laughs> nailed it by 30. Uh, well, that's a one. Ooh. Yeah, yeah pass. Someone falling in the way that was shown in the video, or from the position shown in the video, down here and dying is not consistent with what the camera shows. It got moved. Or thrown. It does not, you would think if you were upside down and you land, you like, ah, you would have some kind of like maybe damage here. Yeah. And this does not have that. The skull is picked clean, but is in fine shape. So the app is showing different murder than the body we found. Oh. I think the app is showing more clearly than my camera phone recorded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have like. I mean, you also knew what to look for. Yeah. yeah. So I'm assuming that you were like, well, if we can angle it like this to maybe get some more light on it, and then we can see it in a bit more detail. So that's what this is reflecting. Would right. I be able to check medicine to get, I, this is forensics, I guess, but. Yeah, I mean, probably not, but it might be a fun detail to uncover. Sure. <laughs> um, I got that by 50. Wow. This should have been an idea roll, which would have been more interesting. Oh, I got it by at least 20 by idea roll. Okay. It occurs to you that maybe he drowned. Oh, he fell in the well and drowned, as opposed to fell in the well and then hurt himself. Where'd all the water go? The pump is off. Or he got pulled in by something and made to drown. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by pulled in? Well, that grate at the bottom has been bothering me, and the fact okay. that it's bent back, uh, and we can hear the ocean, and the fact that there's a pump, which means that there's water that comes in and out, means that something could have come in from the ocean. Um, like, I don't know, what would, like, uh, like, a, like shark a shark or something like that might have come in and might have, like, because if How you think of a shark and get in through that hole, yeah, in the grate. Yeah, well, I mean, it, like, the grate's like a fair size. Like, the grate is a fair size, right? It's, mm -hmm. it's like five feet across, six feet across. Like, it's it's, it's, gotta be it's able to larger than the, than the one leading into this. Hole. Yeah, because like it has it has to be able to dump a lot of water in a hurry. Like if I was pumping water in, mm -hmm. I'd want to be able to get water out faster than I can get it in. Right. In a, in a, in a place like this. Like, would it allow a ship or a boat or something? No. Through? No. And the grade at the the grade is in the bottom, not along the edge. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So it's meant to take whatever's in there and suck down through the grate and expel back into the ocean. Mm -hmm. But Whatever does that, there's going to be a great big pipe that allows all that water to leave, which means that that's also a way for something to come back through. Hey, what's up, chat? So our leading theory right now is some kind of monster came up through the grate and ate this dude. Like I know it sounds kind of stupid and unreal, but like mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't have to be a monster. It could just be like it could be like sea life. It could have been something that that came in and grabbed him and did that. Then we live on Vancouver Island. What is it? A killer whale? An octopus? Octopuses are smart. They can get through grates, right? Octopuses oh, yeah. don't. Octopi don't eat people. I'm an angry octopus. Wait, angry chat. Octopus? Do octopi eat people? Octopodes. They say no. <laughs> chat says no. Okay. Um, I say. Octopodes. We should go. 
We should go call the cops. Thank you. And and possibly turn ourselves in for spooky Halloween trespassing. Sure, as long as it's not murder. I. Uh, my I mean, career is just getting started. I'm not going to jail. You know, you're right because the body's been down there and it, something's been chewing on it, and it's like it's not going to be us, right? They, it, well, there's we no chew way. On it. There's no way it could be us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's yeah. get out here. So it's spread everything if we leave. Yep. Okay. Well, we all in agreement. Yeah. All right. Yes. Yeah. Hey, Norman? chat. Norman, are you? I'm ready to go. I'm also like actively like. Yeah. Does the app give us anything to play with for this? So, so it's a body. It's a body. I think the game is over. Now we have to deal with the fact that we found a real dead person, and maybe, maybe, maybe we focus on the dead person and not going to jail. The app led us here, though. If this guy is updating the app, all right? Because okay. Wait. He, let Let me walk through what I saw on the computer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There is a file being uploaded mm -hmm. that has that has an extension that they use for applications that run on your phone, right? Mm -hmm. And Anna told us she wasn't doing any sort of further development on the app. But it's weird that we're all being brought here and the app was undergoing uh, some sort of update. And I was being, I said I was done and then I got this weird text message to bring me back in. So if something weird's going on, if the, if the guy who's down there or somebody who knows him put him in this position, then they're programming the app or something else is programming the app, and there's that whole server rack there, and I bet you that's involved as well. So if that guy's at the bottom, was he the one making the app? But if he wasn't the one making the app, is the server doing it? Is it what brought us here to make that happen? Plus, plus, that's empty. And if that guy fell in and drowned, but there's no water, who ran pump? Because pump doesn't have a way of pumping water out after a certain amount of time, right? Descent brings you back up after a minute. Pump doesn't have that command, correct? These are probably all good mm -hmm. questions for the police. Maybe the server is running the program from beyond the grave so his body doesn't get abandoned forever. Do you yeah, hear all up? that, chat? <laughs> yeah, what up, chat? Jessica's talking about computer ghosts. Wait, Wait. computer ghosts aren't real. Not that I'd be afraid of computer ghosts. This just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, it might be a hijacked project from a competitor. Hey guys, I'm gonna start walking down the hallway now towards the police. Back towards we have cell phone reception. I'm like walking wait, wait, down the wait, hallway. Wait, 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 now. wait, Peter. Why don't we? Oh, wait, Jessica, wait. I need you. I don't really want to go wait, down wait, the murder wait. hallway. Like, there's another you. update coming. Like, it's about to get updated, to, uploaded to the store. So when that lands, we should be able to have that in like a few seconds. So do you want to wait around and see what happens when we get our new when we get the update? Maybe that's the key to this whole thing. Now that we're here, maybe it'll tell us why we're actually here. I come back and I get uncomfortably close to Jessica. This whole thing's freaking me out. I do that thing I mean, where I get really just... scared, but I'm pretending not to be afraid, but I'm I'm also like more wrapped around you than not. <laughs> kind of like a baby koala. Uh, Frankie. Hi. In 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 your chat. A couple of your mods have mentioned that they've called the police. Perfect. Thank you. I love you guys. I couldn't do this without you. Okay. Cops are on their way. Chat knows where we are. We've got all that on the VOD, so they yeah. know we didn't do it. We're yeah. good. We're good. We'll figure this thing out. Isn't this that hashtag content you guys wanted? Hashtag murder hole. Hashtag not guilty. Also, I don't think it's a good idea to leave a crime scene once you discovered it. Well, is I mean, it, uh, leaving it to let the police know where you are is not necessarily leaving the crime scene yeah. totally unattended. I don't know if the Canadian Olympic team does background checks, but they probably do. Oh, Chad, um, if there's a public vote, you better go vote for my girl. If she gets to be on the that's Canadian not Olympic team... how they decide the bobsled team. <laughs> well, I don't know this. Why not? That's stupid. You're great. We all know you're great. They decided on who can push a bobsled the fast. Anyhow. Okay. Uh, we have to figure out what to do. Okay. So, it's Halloween, and the cops, once called, will be here in... Days. <laughs> yeah, 90 minutes or days. Did, They're busy chasing a lot of kids right now. Did, did you tell them we found a dead body? They have noted that... <laughs> <laughs> they said that they have taken that into consideration, and the, they'll be sending some by to check on you. The spooky thing has happened on Halloween, at an abandoned quarry where kids like to party. I, I go. I'm at the. I'm. I go back to the computer. I 
pull up open files to see what's if anything's still being uploaded. It's completed. Figured. Can I access the servers? Like, can I see any mounted volumes or anything like that? Is there? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, what are you looking for? I'm looking to see like what else is on. Like, what other volumes are mounted? Do I have access to the servers? Are there any other files on on there? Are there any other older versions of this application? Oh, uh, yeah. They, whoever ran this was pretty good at archiving their work, and it looks like they took. Um, there, there's an older version just called like Call of Cthulhu dot app or whatever. Cool. And then one called Music of the Spheres. That's in a separate development environment. Wow. But just looking through it, it looks like they, whoever did this, took that and forked it. <laughs> ah. And it, it's now much smaller. Can I see the names of the users that are currently on this server? Um, like just a G thing. McKay. That's the only user. Yeah. Okay. Want to know if Anna was still involved or not somehow? If she Whoa. was, if she was contracting with this guy for some reason and decided to get out of it. But if she's the only user here, then she doesn't have remote access to the server. So okay. Go to, go and like, it, it, it looks like oh. if if you dive into it at all, it looks like the Call of Cthulhu app was like decompiled, mm -hmm. and all of the like the Music of the Spears one is much smaller in a way that suggests that a lot of assets were stripped out of it and just kept like some base functionality. Mm. So it started out as Call of Cthulhu and it was forked to Music of the Spheres? Mm -hmm. That's weird. Yeah. Uh, so George took Anna's app? Yeah. I mean, you can do that. You can, yeah. you can decompile stuff and do that. That's really. Well, did you guys get the update? Is the update done? I haven't even gone to check yet. OK, no. open my phone, App Store, any updates? The, the Call of Cthulhu app has not been updated. OK. Look for the Music of the Spheres app. Music of the Spheres. Search App Store. Is that uh, even uploaded? No, there's no approved app Wouldn't called that. that. OK. OK. Yeah. So it's been made. It's not, it's not, if it's at the store, if it's been uploaded to the store, it's not ready for update yet. So I don't know what's going to happen. What happens if you just turn off the server that's serving the app? Oh. Yeah, I can do that. It means I don't know if there's anything else on here that we need, but I don't think it matters. Well, we're not going down the murder hole. All right. Well, um, the pump's already off. Can I actually do it? From, oh, yeah. Okay. You know what? Computer use mm -hmm. is pretty good. So I'm going to just say, uh, on the serv, like, tell the server to shut itself down. Okay. Is there an assist you can do too? An assist? In uh, like assist skills? Because I have a medium amount of computer use. Uh, can I we'll sit say... over his shoulder and help? <laughs> we're pair programming. <laughs> Does that actually work? No. If done right, I can't yes. think of a. <laughs> no. Oh, do, as somebody we... who has a semi-technical job, no one has ever leaned over my shoulder and said, "Yeah, do that." And has that been a realistic point course of action? I could see this working in like, you know, is this part of agile workplaces? Yes. Okay. Yeah. That sounds hellish. <laughs> I do, I imagine it actually works, and that's why people do it. But I imagine you also have to be like, pretty in tune with one another, or at least. In tune with the work. Let's, roll, yeah. roll computer use, <laughs> and if both of you roll computer use. Yeah, I'm helping. Frankie with the assist. I don't help. I roll 57. I, I, I beat it by 20. OK. I roll 71. You are able I feel to like 30. Uh, <laughs> turn off the yeah. server. Yeah. OK. All right. I don't actually know how app verification works. Yeah, that's fine. I assume I assume you upload them the thing, and they test it. Well, and they and then they're like, these are the bugs we found that break if, it. If you're running a beta mm -hmm. on iOS, let's pretend let, let's pretend that's just what this is here. You can use a uh, program called Test Flight, and you can mm -hmm. roll out updates immediately. Yeah, to okay. people. private people can come in and join on it. Yeah. It's only if it's an official app and they <laughs> run their own tests through it. Okay. Yeah. So I'm assuming, however, we were getting it from Anna is that that was the way we were doing it. Mm -hmm. And so if it was available for beta and these things are still overriding, it's like you don't need the App Store verification. You just upload a new thing and everyone can just download it. Okay. So that is that is a thing that that is available. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're able to kill that process. Cool, and and shut down the server entirely. Yes. Okay, so the server rack itself, the the computers go dark. Mm -hmm. The switches still blink because that's what they do. Okay. Is it off? It's it's off. The switches are still blinking. That's what they do. Okay. <laughs> I feel 
I feel like we may have won. I feel like we've solved the mystery. Yeah. The app has stopped at updating. Well. Mystery solved. We now just wait for the police, and this all this all gets normal again, right? Hey, I guess so. What does your app show now? I'm checking it. I'm mm -hmm. also thinking, but wouldn't we have deactivated that circle down there by well, turning the app oh, you're off? You're right. There was that weird circle that we saw on your phone. We're not going down the murder hole. Can you still see it, like on your phone? I mean, you're or, you're the Anna's app was called Call of Cthulhu. Mm -hmm. And that's the one I'm running. Yes. Because it was a... She was probably working with a license of some kind. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So that one is still kind of working. It'll work until it gets sunsetted, mm -hmm. is what she said. She probably had a separate uh, uh, server for it. I can't stand this, because now I know I want to know what Music of the Spheres as an app is. I know I shut it all down, guys, but I really want to know what that app is. I could probably Can get you it, run on, it from the computer. I could probably copy it to our phones or see if it'll run in a dev environment on the computer. Uh, you have probably a while until the cops arrive. All right, all right. Is there is there a working copy just sitting on the terminal station? Yeah. Great. I figured, Let's say so. Yeah, yes. That sounds yeah. awesome. All right. Uh, I try to open it up in a. Dev environment? Yeah, virtual machine. Kind yeah, of, and a yeah. virtual machine. So it pops up and it yeah. shows me a thing. It runs. Yep, yeah. and you can like switch between different mobile OSs. It's a mobile app. Yeah, exactly. Um, it looks like it interfaces with the camera and the microphone, the accelerometer, the um, you know all the various things that allow you to interface with a health app. Right. Um, it it uh, looks like it interprets the camera's sensorium, like mm -hmm. its camera, its microphone. It's accelerometer, it's compass. Um, it basically looks like it only has the camera and microphone functionalities of the Call of Cthulhu app. Huh. It just looks like it synthesizes all of those without any of the game. So George is still logging in on his terminal here. We still have internet access. I'm going to push this to his test flight account to everybody who's currently on the test flight. I did not look out how this how any of this worked. So yes. so that's possible. Black magic, yes. Yes, that sounds awesome. <laughs> Computer use. Yeah. You can bypass the encryption. Who wants to install it on their phones? Going for it. I'm gonna install it on my phone. I gotta know what this thing does. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll I will I will watch you <laughs> an update. Uh, you're able to do that and it, it opens and there's no there's no graphics, there's no nothing, but it is just the camera. And the microphone. It's just showing the room as I pan across. There's no edge detection. There's no sort of. It, it's doing all of that. Okay. Okay. It's very. It's like. But there's no buttons. There's no. Mm -hmm. I see. And it has all of the. Um, it seems to want to like interface with various other things, like it's almost like it's putting out feelers. Oh. To like, connect to your contacts, and like it. Don't allow. <laughs> <laughs> But it's trying to do things. Yeah. Wow. Uh, okay. Does it highlight anything? It will do. It will highlight all the same things that Anna's app did. Okay. But there's no like corkboard. There's no grimoire. There's no um, inventory. Norman is sad about that. <laughs> this is this is the engine of the app, but it's got none of the, the frills that mm -hmm. made it a game. Interesting. Hmm. What happens if we point it over the hole? Same thing that you saw through the um, Call of Cthulhu app. Okay. So we still see the circle there? Yep. Oh my god. I mean, while we're just testing stuff, what happens if you turn the pump off or on? Uh, It'd be turning it on. If I turn the pump on, it will fill up and we'd be able to... We'd be able to... The liquid should fill. Oh no, we don't want to do that. Yeah, because then I mean, then we have to pump it all out again. Yeah. Well, it will disturb the body. It'll further. disturb the body. We don't want to do anything that disturbs the murder location. But we could go down to the bottom and actually inspect that circle. And you know, if it's like the circle that we were in the previous house, maybe we can stand around it and we can like. Because remember, last time we stood around the circle, mm -hmm. we all did the thing. We waited for the heartbeat, and when it all did enough heartbeats enough times, that it it broke the circle. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's what we got to do to to get out of this. I don't want to have those dreams anymore, Jessica. 
Maybe all we got to do is just go down to the bottom of the circle and stand around. There's, there's no water down there, so if there's some sort of aquatic beast, it's not waiting down there to get us. And we can program the lift to come back up in like 30 seconds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can see if we have a reaction or not, and then and and we'll know as the lift starts to move. We can just get on the lift and get out of there. And the cops are coming anyway, right? Like even if we're stuck down there for like the next thirty minutes or so, it doesn't matter. The cops are going to come. We can just yell at the thing to get to how, can get us. How far down is this? Twenty feet. But of sheer concrete. Yes. So there's no way you could climb back out. No. No. Damn, in my head I was totally imagining Jessica parkouring up with me attached well, to her Well, I back. have a very good climb skill. Yeah. But it's, but, like, it's, it's, not, it's, it's a, not scale 20 feet of like sheer concrete climb skill. Wait, is, it, yeah, is she tall and swollen enough she could do the thing where she like goes like this? It would be more like... Like, how long did it take us last time? We stood in the thing, we stood there for very, about... It's very tight. We played the song seconds. backwards. Yeah, like it took about 60 seconds, so we get um, the thing to come down and we, we t we'll tell it to wait for three minutes and then we get back on it. I mean, this is the point where like a good improv performer says, yeah, let's do it. But Kathleen in real life is like, hell no! <laughs> Uh, because I'm a sensible person, and also I'm waiting for Matt to get out of the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, we're so both. So my, my manager was telling me that I got to get that hashtag content. Yeah, we're going to have to hashtag go down there and hashtag uh, chant some songs. What did we do last time? Sing a song in reverse? Yeah, I think but, we still have the audio recording of it. We could just play that again. But how do we know that what we're supposed to do is the same thing? Oh, did the video have the did the recording have the words around the outside of it, like the same as the last one, or not quite? Do you have an occult roll? No, but the details thing, I don't have an occult roll. I mean, no. you do. You can be, can you beat five percent? <laughs> that no. would have been great if you did. Yeah. I did not. Uh, very close, but no. Uh, then Let, let's. Did anyone beat it? Um. Or fail by less than 10%. Uh, me. I got a 12. It strikes you that this kind of thing might be very precise, and that the toy knife version of it that you did earlier might not have any bearing at all to what might be the actual thing, or what you have talked yourself into believing is the actual thing. Mm. Oh, no. so, so is your ick factor telling you that maybe we shouldn't do this? I'm all... Feels like leave common sense well alone. Are there any books that he has? Oh yeah, oh, there's tons of books. Oh no, there's so many books that's kind of well, hard to look. Well, it's like through. a very well stocked bookshelf, and there's like, looking at the bookshelf, it's like Lovecraft. Uh, Is there one specifically on on weird, mysterious circles? There's bunches of like weird occult books. Like this strikes you as. Kind of fanboyish, almost. I mean, like Norman's been reading yeah. those books lately. Yeah, it's like, oh, that one and that one and that one and that one. And like, this was an aficionado of, of pulp horror from the early 20th century and late 19th century. Mm -hmm. um, Is there anything unusual about his, his saber and dirk? They look old. Okay. Like antique. Okay. Um, Passed down. Maybe. The, the, these aren't House of Knives ones. <laughs> Fair. Um, and I might actually just say that while you're doing this, the cops arrive. Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, great. Okay. Thank God. So we'll, we'll, we'll say that the event ends there. The police arrive, and they're all like animated mustaches. And uh, there, there's two of them, and they look around, and they're like, huh. They ask you some questions, and they look down, and they're like, <sighs> call for backup, and like, call for the coroner and an ambulance. You know, they ask you a lot of questions, and they pull you aside, and you spend the next several hours like being interviewed. Mm -hmm. And they review the footage, and they're like, okay, so you were, you came, you were invited here, and opened the door, and they found a dead body. Okay, that all seems normal. 
Yeah. Well. Or at least consistent. Yeah. 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 Um, so many hours later, you were released. Oh. So it's close to morning, I imagine. Yeah. yeah. And you're all very tired. Yeah. I post an update. Mm -hmm. Selfie outside of the police station. Hashtag free Frankie. And, uh, yeah. Uh, unless there's anything you really want to do with the rest of your morning, we can say that you finally are able to get some sleep. And, yeah, time begins to pass again. Huh. All right. Ha, huh, told you. Case closed. We found the body. We turned off the evil server. Yeah. Everything is normal. We did it. Do we all sleep okay? I mean, I'm going to go home and sleep. It's, uh, I don't know, it depends on how you sleep after having a slightly disrupted sleep schedule. Probably like a sack of potatoes hitting the ground. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you don't remember your dreams. Except for Frankie. Hi. Who dreams about getting gnawed by rats. <sighs> no! <laughs> oh no. That's me fighting rats. Yeah. That, that's what that was. That, you, you found a disturbing thing down there. Yeah. So that's going to bother you for a while. Yeah, that's fair. Um, maybe not that exactly, but there's you, you, you're going to be able to like draw a line between these events for a little while. It's not every day you find a dead body. Yeah, yeah. that that's an upsetting thing. Um, this is what I was worried about when I said I was worried this might be anticlimactic. A bit of time passes. The app stops working, yeah. or stops being updated at least. Yeah. And an iOS update, the, the, the operating system updates start to push out its functionalities until eventually it goes basically unusable. Um, but a couple of months later, a new app starts to make the waves. Something very similar. Not exactly the same. But it's one where you, you know, you go and you correlate a bunch of different clues that your phone sees clearer than you do. And it sees further than you do. And it shows you what it can. But you get the impression that these little devices we carry around see a very different world than the one that we live in. Maybe an elevated one. And we'll call it there. Uh, all right, so thank you very much for joining me and our players on this two-part Call of Cthulhu adventure, Music of the Spheres. Um, Dice Friends will be returning in following weeks with a, uh, a secret project, Yes, yeah, probably. Yeah. We're um, still nailing down the details. But we look forward to seeing you then. And until then, well, have a spoopy October. October. Yay. That's great. Ha, 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 ha.